What's up, y'all? It's me, HTG Brian, back with Mowing Mondays. That's right. This actually has been quite the uh, satisfactory game to start the week with. Like, I feel like we've had some some good times mowing some. Last week, we even mowed a lawn that took what an hour plus to do one yard. That was insane. I didn't even realize it. I had mowed a very large contract with a small mower and I got a couple of achievements for it too. So not really chasing the achievements, just sort of enjoying the game. Um, you know, a lot of people have been asking when things will switch up. I was gonna cover this in a little more detail on the game break, but by then I realized it would pretty much be old info. So I'm sort of keeping the same games and slots until the first of the year, and then I'll be switching some things. Like, for example, Lego Sundays will likely leave the Apple Arcade, and I will probably jump into, like, an actual replay of one of the larger, more mainstream Lego games. Now, which one it'll be, I'm not sure yet. I haven't picked it out, but I got a couple of days to figure it out. Um... I already mentioned that we're going to play a little bit more of, well, we're going to, of course, finish Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I do want to return to LEGO Star Wars Battles, which is on the Apple Arcade. I think I'll play that, that ne next Sunday. Um, and then, uh, you know, Fridays, I do have a new game for Fridays. Um, I will be sharing what it is on the game break. We won't be playing it this Friday due to it being Christmas Eve. Uh, we got some family stuff going on, and I, I guess if you really break it down to the, 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 the content of said game isn't necessarily like screaming Christmas, so um, I'm going to try to leave that one alone, and then we'll bring it out and uh, check it out first of the year. So uh, yeah, pretty excited about that. Now, if you guys didn't know... This game got some DLC. There was a new update that came out last night or today on Lawn Mowing Simulator. And I guess it gave us four new contracts, which are basically four new locations. It's kind of the same thing. The contracts are going to be a little bit different each time, but the location is going to be the same. So um, kind of cool, kind of excited. They're like uh, historical type places. So we might see a little Stonehenge or something. I don't know. I, I don't know my geography very well, so... It looked like something like Stonehenge, though. Uh, let's see here. Don't think Die Hard had a game. Actually, that's not true. Die Hard does have a game. Let me see if I can muster up my copy real quick. Um, okay. Oh, oh, it's in, like, the worst place, you guys. <sighs> Bam. This game was epic i'm serious i i love this game so this game actually has three different play styles they're like three different mini game types and they all sort of have their own progression um or, yeah well it wasn't it was sort of like um i don't i don't even know what other game to compare it to it was uh like i said there's so that one was sort of like uh was it silent scope wasn't that the sniper game, the arcade sniper game, right? That you had like the crosshairs and you move around. Um, there's a there's a whole section of the sniper mode, kind of like with the big crosshairs and, and sniping. Um, there's a whole mode, sort of like I'm trying to think of what games. Like I'm totally drawing a blank of what games would be similar to them. Not platformers, not it's sort of early action adventure type games, sort of almost like Elevator. Uh, what was that one game called? Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, uh, the great debate of Die Hard Christmas Movie or not. Listen, it's got Christmas content in it. That's enough to make it a Christmas movie. Because it's got action and violence in it, it also allows you to break out of that Christmas time watch frame. And you can watch it whenever you want. So, boy, my wife's getting all done up for the day. She just sprayed her caramel something spray. Uh, she don't even spray it for me. She's going to get her nails did. She's going to spray. Her, she's going to end up smelling like nail stuff anyways in an hour. <laughs> 
Uh, it is a Christmas tree. I would agree. All right, so uh, who turned out the lights? Let's go ahead and turn this on. Now, really random, and I know I'm going to get a comment from at least one of you on this. Doesn't the orange bar from behind the middle mower here and the, the, the doors with the two handles, doesn't it sort of look like something out of like a Mario game or something? Doesn't it look like a Mario character sort of mowing the lawn? I don't know. I just sort of saw that. Um, all right, uh, let's go ahead and jump back in. I have, uh, uh, I need I need to upgrade my HQ again, but I think I'm gonna have to either do a couple of mo jobs or I'm going to have to take out another loan. Now, the reason for that is, is that I've got more contracts that are popping up and if I have more mowers and I have more places to put mowers, then I can hire more people. But right now, I don't have enough places. I built the headquarters, but it was only big enough for one. So I may have made a mistake in only building sort of a medium size instead of like, I should have gone like full whammy on it. But all right, let's start with uh, a sort of simpler one. I guess we got a three star there, three star up there too. Let's take this guy. And I do have, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's go ahead and send this guy. Let's send our buddy over here. Yep, and uh, yep, confirm it, okay, and then we'll go ahead and take this one on, make that money, 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 all right, choop, choop. oh yeah, you guys want, you guys want firsts, all right, real quick, let's go over the, uh, the chat. Ooh, will it even go all the way back? It will! Today's early notification squad was Chacho, Loki, and Rob! What's up, guys? Thanks for being early. Matt's out there, too. What's up, Matt? Preston Bros, unite! We got Raised out there as well. Paige is back. What's up, Paige? And uh, Loki, how, I mean, how goes it? I know I said happy holidays in the chat, but seriously, good to see you, man. Uh, there's a big wall of yellow for me spamming the chat. Don't spam the chat, please! Uh, Kirsten's out there. What up, Kirsten? Uh, let's see here. Ben's out there, too. Welcome back, Ben. Namikins is out there. What up? Uh, let's see here. Who else? Who else? Who else? If I miss you somehow, drop a comment down below. I'm scrolling pretty good. Gray's out there, claiming to be first. Uh, let's see here. Lots of back and forth. Robert's out there. What up, Bobby? What's up, Josh? Good to see you, man. Uh, let's see here. Tapping X to sprint. I'm sort of tapping... X to scroll fastly. What's up? Eh, I see you out there. Welcome back. Oh, is out. No, yeah. Oh, what's up? I didn't even see you. Your name is so like there's no profile pic and it's just oh. <laughs> what up? Uh, yes, and that is PS1. We were having the con uh, conversation regarding Die Hard and uh, the movie, if it's a Christmas movie or not. And then it, somebody asked, do they even have a place or a game for it? Yes. In fact, it's a greatest hit. Um, Pretty fun stuff. I don't even know. I don't think I can play that on anything right now. Does, does the two play one? I can't remember if two is backwards compatible for the one or not. I think it is, because I remember being sort of pissed that the three couldn't play the two, right? Right? I think that's how it worked. Uh, Demons out there, what up? Because uh, it actually takes place in Britain. This game is all, uh, if, if we were to get into a car, it might not look the same. Like we all know what hands on. Uh, it's just pounds for money. Uh, things are just different here. What up, Gamers Corner? Welcome back. Uh, oh, dang, bro. Well, 13 years, hopefully. It sounds like he had a, 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 you know, a long life. Hopefully it was a good one. I hope that you guys, uh, you know, find a, a solution that, you know, well, that's a tough one. Sometimes it's the best thing, you know, but, uh, sorry to hear that, man. You know, Drexler is coming up on uh, his third birthday in February. And, you know, he's only three. But, like, we're already like, holy crap, he's already three. Like, it seems like we just barely got him, you know. And it's amazing how much time flies. And you know, we're already talking about, like, you know, down the road. It's, it's, and so wife's already like, we got to get another one. <laughs> uh, no. We will likely end up with one at some point because, you know, happy wife, happy life, right? We watched a show about 
like graffiti and freight car trains and there was a little bit of subway stuff too uh, it looked like a tall one right there um and uh this dude like legit chose looking at graffiti and stuff over his family and, and i mean i don't want to say he like chose it it was sort of just like his lifestyle his habits he would go to this place they called the bench um and the bench was like one of the best places in the world to watch i, I don't know where it was i think it was in atlanta um, and, uh, you know, all these trains come through there with graffiti on them and, and, uh, it was pretty, co pretty cool stuff really. But then there's that one story with buddy who like lost his wife and family because he, uh, sat on the bench too much. And I, and I remember what he he had like a saying for it was like, uh, sitting, uh, no, if, if the bench you choose the wife you lose or something like that. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty creative, but at the same time, like, wait, what? All right, so apparently I didn't fill up after last week's adventures. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get her good here. Um, and, all right. So let's see here. Boy, it's fired up. Rum, rum. Fired up even more, and we should be able to go. Let's check our height here. We need six. So we'll go ahead and drop it to six. And then... All right, and we are off! Nothing like that smell of fresh cut grass! That's what we should do. I should give you guys a homework assignment for next week. Oh yeah, I can't be ramming into stuff. Remember I got fined for that. Um... I say we all go and get... Do they have car fresheners that smell like fresh cut grass? If they do, we should all go get some. And then Mondays, we can pull them out. They all smell fresh cut grass. While I was digitally removing... <laughs> well, this thing is really jumpy. This road, or this, uh, the ground, red... It's awfully jumpy. Like it's kicking me left and right. I'm having to like counteract it. Teflon, what up, man? This thing turns pretty good. It's very different. The way it turns is different than the old one. Anybody notice the Thumbie had earmuffs on in the thumbnail? Nobody made mention of that in the uh, in the chat. So I was curious. Careful with the furnace, I'm not sure. Ba boom. Oh my gosh, Rays, they do. Look at that. Chemical Guys is actually who makes the uh, spray foam that I use for my car when I wash my car. When I had a pressure washer that worked. That's I, I I've been tempted a few times to uh, to buy like an electric one <laughs> because they're only like 150 bucks, 200 bucks, and I could get back to pressure washing because I could hook up my uh, my nozzle to whatever type of pressure washer. Yeah, safety first, Kirsten. Safety first. some roots over here you didn't even look at the thumbnail today come on oh so I looked at that 
holiday themed game that I talked about again I don't think it would be something you guys would want to see me play if you guys want to check it out it's called Maya or Mia's Christmas I'm not sure how I think it's Mia because it's M-I-A uh, but I don't know that could be Maya too uh, which is really ironic because that was that's the girl's name that Reese has sort of been talking to a little bit which is, I didn't even put that together until right now actually he's probably down there he hearing me say that name and going why is he talking about her on stream <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can't go full throttle, which is a huge bummer. Ooh, dang it. Let's turn around and see if I missed any. <sighs> Negatory! Oh yeah, you know what's funny, guys? I told Raze this already because we were chatting on Skype before the stream started, but last night, or yesterday, I played that uh, Builder's Journey game with you guys, and towards the end of it, the dad, or Papa, he kept uh, swooping in on these weird, like, telescoping, like, standing buckets. They were like little platforms he was on, and they had like these arms that would move him around. And I may have mentioned that it looked like Guardians, or not Guardians of the Galaxy, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I said that yesterday, too, when I tried to say it. And um, this morning I turned the TV on. So I hadn't even really opened my eyes yet. And I was turning the TV on, getting warmed up, and uh, all of a sudden, boom. I hear it, and I realize, wait a minute. This is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I just thought that was pretty random that it was on, you know. Come on. Let's see here, I should probably get the weed whacker out for this. That actually works pretty good. Toon had told me the mulcher was the way to go. I didn't look to see what the estimated time frame is for mowing. I, I feel like a lot of them are unrealistic for the mowers that are available to me. But I, I don't know that for sure. Maybe I'm bad at mowing. I mean, I used to do it for a living, so... I guess a living. I was a teenager. I don't know if I'd call that a living. It's more of a part time job. Twitter! Thank you, Ben! Ooh, I just missed a few blades. This stuff be tall. random that a movie is on TV. Yeah, it, it, it's not it's not coincidental at all that I mention a movie that's like 10, 15 years old, maybe even longer than that, and it just so happens to not only be on TV, but on the channel that my TV was last viewing before I went to bed. Totally not worth a mention at all. Not Not a not a coincidence worthy of get out of here Rooch. going as slow as I can captain galaxy pug what is up welcome to the stream It's all good to go. Thumbies got safety first in mind with them earmuffs on. Could be like a uh, old school earmuffs. 
and when the dad swears around his little kid, his earbuffs, little two year old puts his hands over his ear so he can, so the dad can cuss and the kid doesn't hear him. It's hilarious. <laughs> Should have trained my kid to do that. And I didn't, and now he's got a foul mouth just like his old man. Is that really? It? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say it. Looked like it was not cut right there, but it's cut. Woo! Doing an exquisite job, you are, Brian. Let's go ahead and widen this soikle a little bit, huh? Oh, I missed that little spot. All right. Alex, what is up? Hey, appreciate the kind words there, pug. We put a lot of love and time into them. It's always good to hear that they are appreciated. I'm actually like, I won't lie, you guys. I've, I've kind of had like a couple of nightmares where I've woken up and been like, you know, I, I know I just did like Lego Batman 1 and we did Lego Indy not long ago too. But I mean, those games are both so small and, and pretty easy, right? Like, so... Skywalker saga is going to be huge and pretty complex. And, uh, you know, I wonder, you know, first of all, it's going to take me forever and I'm going to feel that stress when trying to put the guides together. But beyond that, like, you know, will we get it done correctly? You know, oftentimes there are so many, like, turns that you could take, but there's certain ways that you should go in order to make your journey easy and you know my guide writers in the past Tyler Doug you know Gary uh, you know Adam have all done a great job but um, you know this this one is sort of unlike any other game we've had before and, you know last we talked Tyler was gonna take on the guide and, and Adam was gonna potentially do some piggybacking and help but uh, unfortunately we've lost contact with Adam we're hoping he's okay and all that but uh, he got through the Lego Batman stuff, and he sort of just uh, disappeared. So I know he had some real-life stuff happening, and likely is what the case is. But, uh, you know, hopefully we'll hear from him soon. Oftentimes, you know, I, I have a way of, like, uh, leaving doors open for people. Even, even if there's sort of a, a rocky ending or whatever, like, there's very few people that I uh, have not, like, approached on some level or something. Oh, snap! Isabel, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. But, like, Adam and I didn't have a fallout. We didn't have any weird stuff. I mean, maybe I said something to him I wasn't aware of or something. It's always that possibility. But ultimately, I think uh, some stuff just came up, and hopefully we'll hear from him soon. But back to the guide itself, like, I'm curious to see how long it'll take, you know. Like, for example, if Tyler does take the guide on, Will it take him only a couple of days like it normally does? Or is it going to take weeks? You know, and either way, it's going to take me so long just to even get through the story that he'll have plenty of time to get them collectibles going. But we always like to get the written guides up as soon as possible, not only for my use, but also for anybody who may be ahead of me in the videos. Because it doesn't take very long to get ahead of me. Because I usually only do one or two videos a day. And, you know, you guys will sit down and play four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten levels in a day. You know, depending on, you know, what day it is, how much time you got. Some people sit down and just, like, literally, I wouldn't be surprised if people take, like, a week off or something to play this game when it comes out. I know it's weird to think people will take time off to play LEGO, but it's, it's going to be unlike any LEGO game we've ever seen. It's going to be so amazing. I think Nam will even play it. Surely you can fit a turbo. I wish, Alan, I wish... There's actually some bigger mowers that I'll be able to go faster later, but I got to get some more money and I got to build a better uh, headquarters and I got to have uh, space to put those new faster, bigger mowers. 
And see, even with the bigger mowers, there's going to be those rough terrain spots, right? Like, because this thing can go faster. Whoa, what was that? It looked like something in the grass. Did I miss any? Nope, we good. Come on here. Stop lighting up and threatening me. Terrible experience. Ooh, yeah. Good thing it was only a dream, huh? I've heard about those situations too where people will wake up paralyzed for short periods of time. I don't remember what it's called, but there's like a, a, a phenomenon or a, I don't know what you'd label it, but uh, it's crazy to think that. Uh, you wake up and you can't move for short periods of time. I don't remember what it's called. It's like short-term paralysis or something like that. But must have been a high route there. I wonder how my employee is doing on the other contract. I wonder if he's already done did. I, I don't think it tells me until I get into the menu. Okay, I need to clean this up because it's taking too much out of my time going back and forth. Every time. So, uh, holiday movies. What's what's the uh, the must watches? What's the must avoids? Are you guys like me and you like traditionally sort of watch your holiday movies every year? Like some years, Reese is really into it, and some years he's like super against it. This year he's kind of on the fence. Like he sort of resists, and then we sit down and watch one, and he's always like, "Yeah, that was pretty good." It's always good to watch that, you know. Um, for me, uh, The Christmas Story, that's an absolute must watch. Uh, we watched that one about a week ago. And um, Christmas Vacation is another must watch for me. Um, you know, Elf is always good to watch. Um, I definitely like, you know, there's a ton of movies that I love watching. But ultimately, the two must watches for me are Christmas Vacation and Christmas Story. Um, if I only get to watch those, I can survive. If I don't get to watch those, I will lose my mind. We do have uh, string trimmers we can use, too. That, that is actually a tool I can bust out. But I don't think we can have two employees on the same contract. If we can, I haven't figured out how to do that. Hashtag pads. I don't know how to do that. Hi, buddy. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Come on now. Don't be a cotton headed ninny muggins. Cotton headed nammy muggins. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm sure he's not impressed. I I do say I'm a pretty good lawnmower. Well, is that a Porsche over there pulling a horse cage? A horse carriage? A trailer? I don't even, I don't know what the proper term for a horse buggy is. I guess we're not in Red Dead here, but.
Ay. Horse box. Okay. Makes sense. I like it. <laughs> you hear that? I just figured Nam would, you know, jump in to correct me. He doesn't miss many opportunities. Hey! Pay attention, Brian! This is a three star. What up, boss mode? Welcome back. This is a three star, too. It's not hard on any level. But it's pretty big. I wonder if I can like put a a wider deck. What the crap? My wife just sent me a message. And another one. What is happening? Hold on a second. I got to check this out. Asking me when I was going to be done, and I asking if I could run some specific errands, and I won't be done by then. So, uh, can you imagine your backyard? Our backyard is very tiny now, especially with the grass. We, uh, my my wife and my mother-in-law, totally redid our backyard, like. Uh, guess a year ago or so um, they did lots of like sand and gravel and um, those big stones like big rocks and uh, they made like a patio and like a bunch of flat rock like flat river rocks but big ones you know that are like I don't know some of them are like two foot by one foot some of them are like three feet by two and a half feet you know they're just random sort of rocks that they got like a whole pallet full of these roughly two inch thick flat river rock chunks it's pretty pretty cool so they placed them all out sort of like stepping stones but they're more of a uh, you know an actual like just patio or porch area the most awkward mowing of all time going on here. How do you mow? However I want! Like a backwards caterpillar, man. Alright. No, everything's totally fine. Just, uh, like I said, some errands. And, uh, She's out doing some stuff too. She's getting her nails did today so they can look all nice and purdy for the holidays. And um, just a bunch of stuff. Got to go to Costco. Just getting prepared. Like I mentioned, we're having a dinner here and we're uh, helping bring some food. So, my, my grandma, who has dementia, she lives like a couple blocks up the street from me. And so, my mom's. My mom's going to meet us there. We're sort of sharing the duties of the dinner with my mom, but we're going to all meet at my grandma's. And then we'll clean up and take everything home so grandma doesn't have a mess, but yet also so grandma doesn't have to go anywhere or do anything or be in a, 
unfamiliar place, or she's also allergic to cats, so like she can't come to our house. Um, and my mom lives at the coast, which is a long drive, and she, my grandma doesn't do well in cars. She has chronic fatigue syndrome, and she gets like really antsy and uncomfortable and nauseous, and it's just not good to put her in the car. But, uh, yeah, and then we've got another family dinner over at uh, my uncle's, too, on Christmas Day. So, it's kind of crazy how everything's worked out. Like I said, we got three different events that we're going to. One of them is here, so we're not going to it, technically. But, hey! Guess I could have came back with the string trimmer later. halfway done with this yard, yo. This one's going to take roughly about an hour or two. This wasn't the big one, though. Was it? This wasn't the big one. There's a couple of pretty good sized ones now. I miss my old small ones. I actually want to check out some of the new DLC contracts. Because we've sort of mowed most of the areas, I think. Boy, what are those, like, weeds? Are those like the uh, make-a-wish weeds out there? Or like spider webs, perhaps? That's kind of gross to think about. <laughs> yelling at each other yeah my uh, my blazers do not play on Christmas so I won't have the uh, the utter disappointment of losing on Christmas day just just the day two days before and probably the day after <laughs> actually the blazers have won two in a row they've actually looked like a completely different team. It's really weird. And of course, our star player is playing like a star again, which certainly helps. Um, but I mean, it's a small dose, right? I mean, there's 82 games and so far two in a row have been good. I'm not gonna hold my breath too much. But it is nice to see him get a couple of wins. Last night they played a really good team in Memphis. This is only our second road win. I mean, they played like 12 road games and only won two of them. That's terrible. This is the worst record in the league on the road. The worst. I think we're actually tied for the worst now with either Houston or, is it New Orleans? I can't remember, but there's somebody pretty bad out there. We're tied with them. And if it is the Pelicans, that's who we play. We play them tomorrow night. See, I don't know. I always mow with those. I feel like it's quicker to mow than to go get the string trimmer and come back. But maybe it isn't. see the slope on the ground change there from the root system of those trees. It's crazy that they mapped it out like real grounds. Oh, I see a tuft back there. Got to get it all! Got to get it all! Tied with the kings. That's gross. Yeah, I don't care about record. Their record's garbage. They're not. Right now, they're not expected to do a whole lot. If they keep playing like they did the last last two games, they they could potentially get back into that hunt for, you know, one of the playing spots or, uh, you know, a six or a five spot. I don't see them doing anything high. Unless crazy injury happens. You know, like the Lakers just lost Anthony Davis. 
for like four weeks. That's a good 10, 12 games. Probably even more than that. Um, you know, that's going to be a big loss for them, especially since they've already been hit with like COVID protocols and injury. So, I mean, there are some teams out there that could potentially be in worse shape than us that might help us advance to a higher than what we should be, but I don't know. If we make the playoffs this year, it'll be nine years in a row. It's the longest active streak is eight years in a row. Nobody else has that right now, which is crazy to think. 30 teams, no other team has an active streak longer. Some are like five, six, seven years in a row. But, I mean, like even Golden State and a couple of teams got ousted in the last two years, so it's crazy. You know Moon Mondays! That's correct. What up, Jen? Welcome to the stream. We are, uh, as you can see, 65% done with uh, our first contract of the day here. We're making some pretty good ground on it, I feel like. I mean, we've been at it for almost 29 minutes. So far, our Mo percentage has been pretty good. I mean, if we look around, we've got a little edges. Oh, a couple of toughs. Let's go get those guys. I thought I got those last time, but you guys see them right there. Hurt. Okay, I think I got them. I think I I wish you could set the speed, too. Like, that was one thing I loved about the mower. I used to use at my grandparents' property all the time. You know, it was a riding lawnmower, a John Deere. Um, it had, like, a... You could, like, set it up so that you had, like, a max speed. And then you could have your throttle position, too. Whoa! I feel like I ate some mushrooms or something. Look, look at the ground. What is happening? Realize you could be affected by mushrooms that you ran over. So I'm probably gonna need the string trimmer for that, huh? The old weed hawker. Weed hawker. Uh-oh. Chacho's messages get removed. And it wasn't by raised either, so it's not likely a cat situation. Let's see here. Let's try to get this little mohawk right here. <laughs> it's funny. Whoa, bro! Damage the groin. Aye. Man, it's weird. I haven't seen any, like, Nam or Robert comments about Blazers are bad. That's weird. Feel like they have vacated the premises. Either that or Nom got lost in the grass. Oh yeah, I actually forgot to mention too. At least I think I did. We watched a movie the other day on HBO Max called Eight Bit Christmas. And it's a story that Neil Patrick Harris tells his child, his daughter, who really wants a cell phone for Christmas, 
He's like, oh, you have no idea. I wanted a Nintendo so much more than you could ever want a cell phone. And she's like, no way. I want it so bad. And he's like, you have no idea what I went through to get one. And so he, like, goes on and tells this whole story. And it's kind of like how I met your mother in the sense that, like, there's all these added details that are maybe not needed that that fill in a huge backstory but are not necessarily, like, relevant to the main meat and potatoes of the story, you know? And so she's kind of like, oh, my God, for the first couple of minutes. And then, and then she gets really sucked into the story. And she's like, I want to know more. I want to know more. No, I don't want to take a break. Tell me more. And it's all about, like, hit, you know, the dad when he was young. And it's actually, it lines up perfectly. Like, the kid is, like, the same exact age as me. And, like, a lot of the story is super relevant to me. I mean, obviously, it wasn't my story or anything there's definitely some big details that are different but it's just like the whole concept of wanting one what he was willing to do the stuff that was going on around him how people were getting them how the malls were like all of the stuff it's it's, it's a good movie 8-bit christmas you got hbo max or access to watch 8-bit christmas i highly recommend i don't know if it's like on DVD or Blu-ray or anything like that. I think it's just a digital release on the stuff. Definitely not the best, but it was an okay play. I thought it was pretty good. I, I didn't really find many flaws with it. Like I said, it was very relatable to me because, like, it was legit 1989. Like, he was 11 years old in 19... Like, that's how old I was in 1989. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like the whole storyline was just correlated with my childhood I like those you know like Stranger Things did an excellent job of bringing up like the 80s right and making it very relevant very relatable Cucumber water. Cucumber mint water. I've actually had some cucumber water. It's good. I'm not a big fan of mint, so I probably would be on the same page with you on that. I don't know why. Like, I used to like mint. I used to chew a lot of mint gum and stuff. I just don't care for mint that much these days. Like, my toothpaste is peppermint or whatever, but that's about the only mint that I really get. If they made a berry flavor for adults, I'd probably get it. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't. Or would I? Or would I? <laughs> no. No. Look at the ground, how weird it's, like, stretching out. Like, I don't know if that's, like, a display glitch or what. Pepsi Boy, what is up? <laughs> Who has PS now? Uh, I do. Why do you ask? You want some info on it? Like, is it worth it? Or what's, what's, what's the haps? Susan, your cats hate me. <laughs> uh, Chacho, you might be right on that. You know, hey, listen, you're always trying to claim to be the, the channel guard dog, bro. Cats and dogs don't always get along. There might be a connection there. There may be a connection there. <laughs> Am I going to run out of petrol? Holy cow, 37 minute mowing. This is a mulcher too. I haven't even had to go like dump bags or anything. And the overall, you know, area is pretty simple. I've only had a couple of like roundabouts to do. I feel like I'm on to something there, Raised.
that that sound effect for that bird always trips me out there. Come on. Backwards man, backwards man. I can go backwards fast as you can. Backwards man, backwards man. So, let's do a clean pass. In a minute. <laughs> I was really trying to avoid smacking him. Like, my whole thought process was this. This is what I was trying to set up for when I said clean pass. This, this is what I meant. It definitely wasn't what happened. <laughs> Curiosity. Did anybody ever put up any movies or anything, or was I the only one talking? Was I just talking to myself? I mean, I'm pretty good at that, but just didn't know if that's what was happening. The grind never ends, especially with all the fertilizer Nambi slinging around. <laughs> Mr. Poopy Mr. Poopy Caucus. I saw a movie a long time ago. There was legit a character's name, Poopy Cuckus. I don't remember. It was like a, it was a weird. It was like a man. I don't like using this term because it's sort of like sexist in a way. But it was one of those like you know chick flicks. I think like Win in Rome or something. I don't remember what the name of it was. Uh, it's all about like this lady who ran like a tour. She was like a, a tour bus, whatever. And uh, the bus driver gets sick and they hire a new bus driver. And he's like this sort of scruffy, almost homeless looking dude. And his name is Poopy Cockins. <laughs> uh, you might be asking yourself, why would you remember that? Because it's hilarious, that's why. Home Alone, another great Christmas movie. It's another one that was on my list. So in years past, Reese was younger, and I could sort of like stronghold him into like doing things and be like, you're gonna watch this and you're gonna like it. Now that he's older, he's like, I ain't watching nothing. You can't make me watch nothing I don't wanna watch. <laughs> I'm gonna be over here doing this. And, uh, you know, I got him, like I said, I got him to watch Christmas Story. We started watching this, uh, it's like a 12-part series. It's a cartoon. I don't even remember what it's called. It's like, I don't remember. Something about Santa or something. I don't know. Um, it's got Sarah Silverman and a bunch of, like, Seth Rogen. A bunch of famous people as voice actors. We watched, like, two or three episodes and then haven't made it back to that yet. We still got to watch the other two Matrix movies. I think we're going to try to watch one tonight and then one tomorrow night. And then we'll be able to watch the new one the night after that. Because the new one comes out on HBO Max and in theaters on the 22nd. Today's the 20th, so I can do math. Pretty excited about that, but I've also got the bar way low. I mean, nothing for nothing. I don't blame it on Keanu, but like... Let's be honest. Bill and Ted face the music. I, I don't know. I know if Joey were here, he'd get mad at me, but it wasn't that enjoyable. Like, it wasn't terrible. Like, I think the second one was probably worse. Right? I think it probably goes one, three, two in, in like, my preferred, uh, you know enjoyment order but you know I don't know some of those older movies that they bring back after years of being out just don't quite hit the mark like I'm worried about Clerks 3 you guys Clerks 2 is one of my all time favorite movies it's so bad and crass and just awesome I love it 
It's Kevin Smith at his finest, or worst, depending on how you want to label it. But, uh, I mean, I absolutely, it's one of my favorite movies. And Clerks 3 is coming out, and we're supposed to get a trailer for it as soon as April. April-ish, I think is when they, March, April. Um, but I'm worried. But, I mean, it's, it's got all the original cast. There's talk that there's another Friday movie being written. And I know that, like, Chris Tucker doesn't want anything to do with it. But that's one of the only ways I think that franchise would really benefit from having another movie. Like, it'd be cool to see another one. I always love Cube movies. But, you know, the only way it really does the franchise any kind of crazy leap forward is if, like, the original cast is back in it. You know, you get Big Worm, you get Smokey, you bring Day Day back too. You know, I, I, if you get them all, it would be pretty awesome. I just, there's no way. Chris Tucker's still mad at Ice Cube and DJ Pooh for basically not paying him for the movie. That, all the actors reportedly got $10,000 for their parts in that movie. Now, granted, it only took them a week and a half or two weeks to shoot the movie. $10,000 for two weeks is not bad, especially back then. It was decent money. But, like, you look at how much the movie has made and, like, the lack of royalties that I guess these actors get. But I think Cube, and the, I mean, maybe it's not up to Cube. Maybe it's, like, whoever owns the rights to the movie. But I, I think Cube and Pooh own the, the movie. I don't know. DJ Pooh, if you guys don't know, he plays Red in the series. He's the co-writer, the DJ Cube for many years, a lot of live shows and stuff. I like, I think I like Cube better as an actor than I do as a rapper, but I always have had sort of a soft spot for Cube's raps too. Some are great, some are just not my cup of tea. But I've always appreciated, too, like, how he's always, like, sort of been, like, I mean, I don't want to call him an activist, but, I mean, he's always been somebody to call it like it is. Right? Let's see here. Grinch? Oh, yeah, The Grinch is another great one that we haven't watched this year. See, there's more movies. My wife and I were just talking about it. I was like, we're running out of days before Christmas. And The Matrix too. I know the people are going to be talking about it. I can't... I said, I said, I already missed out on like a couple of the recent Marvel movies and stuff. Like, I can't be trying to avoid spoilers for that, too. Like, Spider-Man is... I'm dodging him left and right. I'd be flinging my web, blocking shots. It's gross, no. It's gross. <laughs> keep waiting i know he's lurking waiting to swing in and drop some bombshell a nom shell and all the i remember the old like rudolph we, we got those, actually. The, the DVDs for the old Rudolph, uh, Frosty the Snowman. Uh, there's a couple other ones, too. I think one's called, like, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. There's this old, like, I guess they're not, they're stop frame, not claymation. I'm trying to think. There's another one, too. What's the other one that I'm forgetting? Those are classics, though. Those are from, like, the 60s, aren't they? Which, ironically, the Elf movie sort of stole the theme from those, right? Because, like, the whole story gets told by, like, a storybook tell, you know, told character. So that, hopefully I got that. You know, I've yet to mow anything into a yard and then, like, take the penalty for it, right? We could mow, like, a giant middle finger or a thumby or uh, something simple, like a smiley face. Ninety-nine point one. I think I'm going to have to zap that stuff over there under those horse jumpies.
What? Yep, alright, let's go park it. Claymates, well, that was a great superintendent. Claymates, I don't remember Claymates. I don't think I ever played that. Oh, my phone is blown up. I said, leave me alone while I'm cleaning my room! No. No! hour. Fill it up. 50 bucks to... Okay, I'm, I'm not fixing the blades every time. Come on. Let's grab that string trimmer. Yo. Ooh. This is the first time I've actually had to use one of these. Works pretty well. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Before you leave the car, you start. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. There it is. Rudolph. Santa Claus is coming to town. Frosty the Snowman. Frosty returns. That was the other one. Yeah, we have all them. We don't have the... Is that the Dark Crystal? I can't see what it says there. But you got them all on one disc. I don't have them all on one disc. Mariah Carey? That's crazy. That is crazy. Let's get that minimized. Let's go ahead and zap to the next... Spot. All right. Let's go to our maintenance. Let's fill up. Actually, it's empty. Let's fill it up. Let's go ahead and full repair. Full repair. Full repair. Okay, so Buddy's all good to go. He can't complain about nothing. Uh, what about me? Maintenance, full repair, repair 90%, so it's at 90, I don't need to repair, so it's $4, I don't need to mess with that, 11 bucks is good, vehicle repair, might as well put the 21 bucks into it, fill up the air, whatever it was, um, let's see here, now what about attachments, see, it won't let me do any attachments, I could sell a vehicle, I could part exchange too, but that doesn't work, you know, for whatever reason, curious, don't take this the wrong way. I never connected with the Polar Express. I, I don't know when that movie came out. I really don't. I don't know if it was. I feel like it was in like the late 90s, early 2000s. And and I, 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 I just never watched it. I, I It was never in my childhood. So as I like when Reese was born and we got that movie for him, I, I never really got into it. And uh, we have a spot here. Uh, I don't know, maybe raised or somebody else knows, but there's a, uh, a there's a train that you can go ride. That's actually it's supposed to be like the whole Polar Express story, and you get like a mug and you get your photo taken, and the train's all dressed up like the Polar Express, and um, you go through like this huge Christmas tree farm, and it stops there, and you can get out and wander around. They have like you know, gingerbread cookies and candy canes everywhere, and um, Reese loved it. They, they got like this whole book. Like my, my mother-in-law took Reese. I, I think they went a couple of years, but they, uh, one particular year, she took a ton of photos and then she went and uh, had one of those like books made. So it's like a book of all the photos on their trip. And it's, it's such an awesome memory piece. Like it really is like that. I think is awesome. Now the movie though, I just never got into that. 2004. So early 2000s. Yeah. I, I was, um, you know, shoot, Reese was born in 2005. I was not, not, I, I was very much, uh, like, trying to adult <laughs> at that point. Uh, we won't go into details, but uh, 
I had some some friends that liked to party. All right, um, I have one employee. I don't think I need to train him or anything. Experience. He, he's gonna want some more money here pretty soon. I'm gonna have to fire him. Hire a new guy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to be that guy. Um, all right, so the Jefferson House. All right, so let's send Buddy out to do the other, the Paddock B. It'll take him like six days to do it. Confirm. Okay, and then let's go. Psh, we've never done this one. Employee. Okay, so wait a minute. So we've been covered and littered by people attending recent again. The local council required litter to be cleared. Yeah, let's do it. Litter, bro? Litter? You're still not an adult. It probably would have hit a little harder if you spelled everything correctly. I mean, I think that takes a little away from it. Achoo. So I need 11 objects, and I got two. I've been decent at this in the past. I don't know if they're going to be in the flower beds. I don't think they are. We'll just check the grassy knoll first. I see a lot of these from a distance. Yeah. That's a real song. Ooh, what's that? Where there's muck, there's... Oh, complete a litter contract. Okay, okay. I didn't feel like I did anything great there. Ooh, rank two? Ooh, okay, let's go ahead and cash in on these real quick, because I have absolutely nothing to... Oh, no, wait, that's not what I want to do. I want to check them in. Crap. Uh, all right. Uh, don't I have to? Uh, guess I'll claim them later. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's go ahead and do this guy. Me? Oops. No. But he's still on the other one. Wait, where, where's Buddy at? Okay, so this one's me. So let's put Buddy here. I think I messed it up when I accidentally used the mower. Yeah, boy. Is that the movie with Uncanny Valley level animation? Uncanny Valley. I don't know why that's not ringing a bell for me. Uh, oh yeah, ground check. No! I skipped ground check? What an idiot. What an idiot. No! Get off! Get off! I don't think I can pick stuff up anymore. Or I don't get credit for it anyway. There's nothing out here anyways. Uh oh. So does that mean I'm gonna hit stuff? There's nothing out there though! Maybe I should just string trim the whole thing. Two cents of fuel already. And five.
Shit. Oh my, I'm chipping up everything here. Cruising too, like full throttle cruising. I try to get better about corners and not depending on the mower as much as the string trimmer. The string trimmer works pretty good. String string trimmer? String trimmer. So I haven't hit anything yet. That'll be new when it does happen. <laughs> I've definitely hit some rocks and stuff mowing before. No doubt about it. bro <laughs> I mean I'm full throttle right now octane gas in this thing, I think. So I don't know how much monies I need to make in order to buy my next headquarters, but that's like the next thing I need to get going is I need to get that... Uh, development of an additional bay area or just a whole new headquarters in general then I maybe I can sell my old one I don't know how that works because I know you can sell like your old mowers and stuff I don't know if you can sell your old stuff one. Cruising right along. Got 17.4% done did. Yeah, some of the train sort of grabs you or pushes you in different directions. It can be sort of a pain in the arse at times. Turning into a funny angle over there in the corner. Nobody puts Brian in the corner! It's weird that it pulls me left right there. It should be pushing me away based on my experience. 
I guess there could be a route that I'm not seeing that would make me go that way, but... And I still haven't hit anything yet. I feel like there should have been something in this outer edge. Maybe there wasn't anything to clean up. I don't know. Usually there's at least one or three items. not really a turnable angle anymore. It's more of a 90 degree. Speaking of 90 degrees, definitely use some sun. I'm tired of all this rain for a minute. I do prefer the cool over the hot. Always. But wet? Not so much. Third of the way done with this guy already. Whoa. Is anybody expecting anything awesome for Christmas? Or any of the holidays that you might celebrate? I'm pretty excited. I, I, I don't know this. But just knowing my wife, I, I think I know. So we're very different in how we shop for each other. Um, back in the day, I used to sort of like blindly buy her things. And I was hit and miss. You know, you've seen those shows or movies where the dads try to get something for the wife, you know, and try to make it special and meaningful. And it almost always ends up being the wife gets something amazing and the husband's gift sucks. So I started like inquiring, being like, what do you want? What do you want? And then I sort of guessed on some of those things and I, I'd get the wrong color or the wrong size or the wrong something. And it would always just be sort of a to me, it would be a letdown. She she never expressed any of this. But, you know, to me, I always felt like I struck out. And so I just finally started going, look, I'd rather buy you something that you really want or need and know the size, the color, the la la la, and then just get it for you. Like the surprise, you know, is sort of a good thing of the holidays and gifts and stuff. But you know, getting something you really like over the surprise of something you don't like at all or will never use, I think it's an even trade. And so for the last, I don't know, 10 years or more, I'm just like, what do you want? Buy it. I'll pay you back. Or, you know, where is it at? Give me a link. I'll buy it. You know, and so, uh, but she usually goes out and she'll get me something that, uh, you know, is, is sincere to me, right? Like, in the past, she's got me, like, you know, jerseys, like, for Blazer players. Or, uh, you know, like, last year, she got me all that Doom stuff, right? And then I found out, like, six days later that Doom had died. So, little did she know how awesome that gift really was. And, you know, this year, I think I know what she got me. But I haven't seen it yet. She knows what I got her. And part of that's thanks to Nam. So... Big ups to Nom. Because I'm able to uh, sort of indulge a little more at times with some help from, from a friend. Uh, I'm too old for Christmas. You're never too old for Christmas, demon. I mean, there's different levels of it, right? Like, I don't think you're going to be, like, waking up in the morning to run out and see if the cookies have been eaten and things like that. But, you know, you might be the one putting the cookies out at some point soon, you know? Somebody's got to eat cookies. I need cookies. I need them and I need them now. When 
whenever we put cookies out, like when I was young, I won't even lie. I'd sneak out and eat them before before I even went to bed. You know how many times I got in trouble? Because we'd make like these special, so we'd make like a batch of frosted cookies. And, and usually we'd make them at my grandma's like two, three days before, right? And, and, and then we'd come home and those cookies would be out for Santa. And I'd sneak over there and nom, 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 nom. Hey, those are supposed to be, I always be bad. I'm like, why do we get, why does he get the extra frosting? And why is it, I want the frosting. It's true. So I don't think Santa, I think that's why my gifts were always less than stellar because he knew I was eating his cookies. <laughs> Put all that extra love into him just so I could steal them. <laughs> Everybody's got different levels, right? Christmas is shared with different experiences for everybody. I still get gifts from Santa every once in a while. I don't know if I was good enough this year. We'll see. I usually get stocking stuffer stuff at this point. So that must mean I'm doing something right. Boy, it's a jumpy ride through here. That's not me. It's like bouncing left, bouncing right, and I gotta correct it. I mean, what the crap? Christmas has definitely taken a, a turn for me and our traditions. You know, I, I'm going to be 44 next month. So for 42 of those years, um, we'd spend them at my grandparents' house. So, like, I do Christmas Eve at my grandma's, in, in, you know, and then we'd come home and do Christmas Day or morning at, like, my house with my dad and brother and stepmom and then we do Christmas at like dinner with my grandparents so um, lots going on but uh, you know my grandfather passed a couple of years ago and um, my grandmother went into a home so that that house isn't available to, to gather and, and have you know more memories and um, my wife and I have talked about maybe buying the house because it's a bunch of stuff's getting done to it and then they're going to put it on the market probably in like April or May. Uh, we've talked about, you know, trying to work a deal with the family and getting that house. And we might. Um, but uh, we just don't get to go do that family stuff anymore. This year my uncle's hosting though, so it's actually going to be cool. We'll get to... So it's sort of like, just like years before, we're doing Christmas Eve with my mom, but instead of doing it on Christmas Eve, we're actually doing it on the 23rd. And then the 24th, we've got our dinner here. And then the 25th, we've got dinner at my uncle's. So, the three meal tradition is still happening. The location and the company is a little different though. Which is a bummer, because my grandfather was like my hero to me. What up, Todd? Oh, come on. You know what I haven't done yet? And I think the game warns you. I haven't mowed, like, a bunch of lawn and then to find out that I didn't have the, the blades down. I know that I did it for, like, two seconds last week or the week before. I haven't done it this week, though. Yeah, 
He can't remember where he is present. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's a common problem around here sometimes too. <laughs> or even better, last year my wife bought a bunch of stuff. She started buying stuff in like October. And so, like she saw like t-shirts and things that she wanted for Reese and so she started buying all this stuff and she hid it. And then like Christmas came and went and it was like March and I like got into some storage and I was like, what is this bag? Why is there a bag in a bag? What's it? Oh, here's some shirts. Oh, here's some candy. Here, oh, was this supposed to be for Christmas? And she was like, ah, I wondered where that went. I totally lost it. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. This is just turning into a weeble wobble. This is looking like I am going to finish this probably right about the time. Eh, no, it'll be a little early for break. The BRB, the halfway point of the stream. Boy, yesterday at the end of the stream, at like the two hour point, I was like starting to feel a little discomfort from, uh, you know, need to drain the tank. And then an hour and 20 minutes later, whatever it was when the stream finally ended. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 It was so nice. Probably a better job for the string trimmer, but it's okay. It's going to be a weird angle coming back around. <laughs> Good lord. Smack a rooski. Definitely a little bit more uh, intricacies required for this sort of middle section. I mean, I did my lap around the outside edge, and that was pretty much the only uh, tough spot so far. Hasn't been many roots. Been a little bit of uh, course correcting needed due to some jumperoos, but uh, that entry wasn't too bad. Surprised we haven't seen the toad. Keep that PlayStation alive. So my headphones don't go dead. Who has all? <laughs> it was in my closet. Ah! That's funny. O W K B, huh? <laughs> hey what the crap man there's like a bump right there that keeps kicking me off course
this is gonna get tricky because I've got nothing to cut on the end there. So I gotta make a choice. Do I just like flip the one side or do I keep going wide and then just messing? I mean, I, could, I don't think I can damage the ground by driving over it a bunch, but that might be a thing. Close. I wonder, can you be, can you be ejected off the mower? Like, can you hit so hard that it like bucks you off like a bucking bronco? Great, you should try it. <laughs> like, I wonder if you can tip one of these things. Let's do this. It's in a little jumpy. See, like. <laughs> Reese is in a bird watching class. I wonder if he knows what kind of bird that is making that sound. He really is. He's actually in a bird watching class for high school. They have, um, the high school has sort of like this wetlands. It's weird, two of our high schools in Salem. I don't know if the other ones do, but I know that McKay and Sprague both have like boundaries, like their, their grounds for the school meet up with like a natural wetlands sort of like protected kind of area. They're not big, they're not like national forests or anything like that. It's just like a small, little area and so they can literally walk right next door so they have to leave campus but I mean it, they don't even have to cross a road or nothing it's just like right there on the back side of the school um, and they go out into this huge field in this property where they've got nothing but trees and open lands and so uh, tons of birds to watch and see and so they've got a bird watching class there which I thought at first when he told me he was selecting I was like get out of here but he's in it and a couple of his friends are in it too, so they have a good old time going out and watching birds. My grandma had like three bird books because they had, um, you know, out at their property where I used to mow their yards and everything. They have a bunch of land and uh, birds would come in and they always wanted to know what they were feeding and what kind of feed they should get, you know. Because different birds want different seed and whatnot. Some require suet blocks. Some require liquid, like, you know, hummingbirds and stuff. Uh, so, Reese ended up inheriting a couple of those books, because my grandma's in a home. She doesn't need them anymore. She was super thrilled to give them. What's up, Thomas? Just in time to see me wrap up? What is this? I guess this is my second yard. My third contract, though, because I had to go and clean up some litter. I was litter patrol. Community service with pay. I may or may not have had to do that before. <laughs> so I know I'm done, but like, come on, we got to get this little spot here. I'm not, no, not about to wrap up the stream. No, we're uh, we're almost to the halfway point, though. We, we definitely have, like, a halfway point that we're uh, going to take a be right back. A little break. But, I mean, that's still 20, 25 minutes. I'm going to probably do one more contract. Hopefully it's a short one. You got to hold B for a long for a long, long time. Yeah, a long, long time. 
All right, Jefferson House. I I, I didn't find anything in there. Uh, penalties and fines. Nothing. Flowers destroyed. Nothing. Closed. Cleanup fee. I didn't get fined anything for it. Penalties and fines. I got 43 bucks in collisions, bruh. Not great. All right. Uh, no upgrade available. Why can't I upgrade? What's the problem? The problem is purchase HQ. Okay. How much is this guy? Uh, how much? Okay, 160. So I'm 6K away from being able to buy the Whitehall house, which has three bays. But for 175, I can get the Windsor garages. That's where I need to be. You know, I wonder if I can sell this joint. Uh, no. Purchase AQ, advertisements. Um, should I do some advertisements? I don't think I need any. Like, I feel like I'm doing well with my progress. I mean, uh, apply for a loan. Don't want to do that. Let's go maintenance. No, we want maintenance. Let's get some fuel. All right, empty that grass bag, because apparently he can't do it on his own. What do we got here? We got maintenance. Gas is full. Blades are looking all right. Engine could use a little repair. Let's keep it tip top. Ah, it's, just good. it's only a couple bucks, right? All right. We got the nice mower. Statistics. Distance driven. I've driven a lot. Drive time, an hour and 41 minutes have been spent mowing. All right, let's get ourselves. Okay, we've got a couple of contracts here. Oops. Okay, confirm contract. Let's send Buddy over to do this one. Okay, and how long is it gonna, supposed to take for our... Uh, Well, there's going to be one at least, Thomas. Lego Skywalker. Oh, I got to mow all of this area. Oh, this is going to take a while. I might take an inadvertent DRB right at noon today. I got to go check on something downstairs right around that time. So we'll see how it works out. Might not overlap, might be fine. I might get her done just in time. This might take me 45 minutes to an hour to get it done, too, because look at all the... Okay, there's one more object, and it is... Where, where are you at? It's got to be in this middle left right here. Four minutes to find it. Where is it? I can't jump. If I could jump, I'd find it faster. Huh. Where is it? I didn't do it. Wolves me. That's going to be fun. That's going to be happening quite often here. Like the birds chirping. But where the crap is this last piece? Wait, is that it right there? Dang. I could see it from a mile away. Actually, get off. Yep. <laughs> I 
Ay. That did not work in my favor. And I need to get it to five and a half, so we'll get it to whoops. Six. I think that's right. Whoops, let's get the I haven't mowed this one yet. This is a new one. It looks fairly short, like it's been kept in pretty good standing. On the mower again. Just can't wait to chop all this grass again. It's going pretty fast. Because I'm mulching it. Somebody threw a spear at me or something. Did I miss that? Yes. Liking my on the, on the mower again. <laughs> I feel like it can at least have this whole area on this side zapped up nice and pretty. And I can maybe take like a halfway point break on this job, huh? We'll see how it goes. three sections to this park and in four minutes I haven't done much damage to this side almost 10% done with the whole job though do some brodies around the tree That's what I need to apply to this thing is a horn. That'd be cool if you had like different horns you could put on your mowers. Like you can in uh, Forza and other games.
Nope, didn't bog me down that time. It's doing that weird thing with the grass again. I don't remember it doing it last week. I don't, so I don't know if that's like an update. Like they did some sort of weird effect. Or if it's like a, just a tall grass only kind of a thing. Versus like a medium sized grass. Because I hadn't seen a ton of tall grass. I did mow those two uh, horsey fields last week, but... Come on! It like literally thrusted me in there. Some of those flowers are a pain in the took us. Try to get greedy. And like the park's even gonna know. We had 632 of those flowers. Now there's only 630. We're gonna have to find you $72 per flower. What? I'm done. I quit. <laughs> right? Charge me what for petrol? And how much for blade repair? And then. And then. You're hitting me for how much per plant? I don't know what kind of flower that was, but. <laughs> Yikes. Anybody out there watch Mythic Quest on Apple TV? I know I've asked that before. We're almost done with season two. It's not bad. I mean, it's cool. It's like game development, game studio. There's cutscenes from the game. Like, they make. And it's actually gotten way higher end, too. Like, in the beginning, they were sort of like crappy, low budget cutscenes. And now they're like full on big studio look great kind of cutscenes Twenty percent done in just under ten minutes. Twenty man. Has Nam seen the Drexler emoji? I assume he has, but I figured if he's getting mail, he might as well have his own emoji too, right?
That was close. So, you know, a lot of people that have YouTube channels have gotten what they call the year-end review. And apparently it, like, compiles all this stuff and shows you kind of like your Spotify rap, you know. Um, but I still haven't got mine. Kirsten, did you ever get yours? I still wonder if it's a third-party thing. I, I couldn't find any information directly from Google on it. I found people talking about it on Reddit and other places saying like, oh, you know, YouTube puts it here on your, and people were saying, no, oh, it's not there for me. I don't know why. What do I need to do to make it appear there? And people were responding, it'll be there when it's ready. But I don't know if that was just people trolling or what. I know that Brad got it, but he posted some link and it was definitely a third party app that was posting that link. So I don't know, but, but a, Apparently he said it was definitely a, a, a YouTube studio creator notification, according to what I've been told. I haven't talked to him directly, but that's what I was told. And, uh, you know, like nothing for nothing, but I mean, uh, like, I, I don't know why I wouldn't have one, but he would. You know, like maybe there's like certain weird rules to it, like... You can only have so many subscribers or something. I don't know. Maybe it's taking longer because I have more stuff. Because I've streamed more and I have more uh, more analytics to dig through. I, I mean, I really have no idea. But, I mean, if other people have not got one either, it does make me wonder. Is it a real YouTube thing or is it something that is a third-party thing? Like, Spotify's is a real Spotify thing. They, they do their own rap. I, I don't know that... YouTube will do that. I, I just don't know. I've seen Twitch people posting stuff too. Like Twitch has their own rap as well. A wrap up, whatever you want to call it. Nam has not gotten one. Do you? I, I, and again, I don't know what the requirements are. Like, I don't know if it's just like YouTube channels, like just any YouTube that has any activity. Like some may be more view based, like your watch habits versus your stream or upload habits. I mean, I, I don't know. I just feel like we're getting pretty close to the end of the year and I haven't gotten one yet. I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to get one. I should just tweet out to YouTube and see if they respond. They're usually pretty good about responding to things. Uh, wow, had to go set up card table. Probably because I've never... Yeah, but it might have watch activity too, though, Nom. So, like, you watch us, so at least. So, I mean, you would at least have, like, you watched 600 hours. And you're going to be like, oh, my God. 600 hours of Brian? You know what I mean? Like, there should be those stats. I don't think it's bolt. I, I think it's, like, you know, a two-way street. I think it's view and uploads. that getting old thing again. Something like that. Get out of here. That wasn't even close. And I did them a favor. That wasn't even in the like the flower bed that was actually in the grass come on man yikes <laughs> that was a funky turn Those are weeds. Can't find me for weeds. I, mean, I guess depends on what kind of weed. Huh? There may be some fines for certain types, I suppose. 500 of them muted. 
Yeah, right. I almost believe that. You certainly come in at, like, pretty epic spots of, like, recognition of your name. What? Was my name mentioned? What? You'll probably say, oh, I was just coming off mute. Yeah, right. Ah! And muted watch time does not count. I don't know if you guys know that or not. But uh, if, you, if a channel is being viewed and the mute is utilized for more than, I think, 10 seconds sequentially, it goes into not. It, it assumes you're not watching because you're muted. I, it's a stupid rule. People have contested it for a long time, but uh, that is a thing at the YouTubes. So, like, if you're ever trying to help somebody or watch something, if you just fire up a stream and put it on, it's not necessarily counting for them. You have to have sound on at least one or more for it to recognize you as viewing. Which is dumb, because a lot of people, you know, probably watch stuff and don't need the audio. But, you know, I tell people all the time to use the mute button if they don't like my commentary. But if they do and they watch it, technically I won't get watch time hours for that. I'll get the view and the ad revenue potentially will happen too, because it'll cue that with the view. But for the most part, it, it, won't, it won't count the watch time due to the mute button being... Unless they've changed it in the last, like, couple of months. That is an active rule that's been around for a long time. Round and round we go. Round and round we go. Let's turn it into, like, an autocross track out here. This is just getting out of control with the shape here. Ooh. I missed some. Damaged? Come on! I wasn't even full throttle. At least I didn't feel like I was. I guess you don't have to be. And I still have one more pretty big area, but I am going to take a BRB as soon as I complete this little mini area here. Gotta go check on something. I also gotta drain the tank. It's not as bad as yesterday, that's for sure, but. crazy to think that there are three areas and that two of the areas make up only 46 or 47 percent. That last area is bigger than half. Bigger than no. Appreciate that, Thomas. I am a man, I can guarantee you that. Whether I am the man or not, I think it's based on opinion more than fact, but... I 
Hey, no honking me. Go beep your honk somewhere else, buddy. Kirsten's got jokes. Chacho's laughing. It must be good. We'll deal with Ock by getting one of those YouTube review things. Nom didn't get one. Did I read it wrong? I think he says he didn't get one, Kirsten. What's up there, Aubrey? Welcome to the stream. Basque Tech, is that your uh, your mowing crew? You flexing your mowing crew on me? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Oh, is that something else that I'm missing? Is that, a, is that a bot? Does that mean something I don't know? Was that naughty words? At least it wasn't me that misread it, because I would get a ton of crap for that. All right, I'm going to go lock into place over here, and then I'm going to hit the uh, BRB button. That's the bot. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, Aubrey Walters is a bot. Leads to naughty website. That wasn't even a link, though. That was literally just text. Interesting. Watch out for Vasque.tech comment bot tutorials. Vasque Tech is a company engaged in providing affordable blue ribbon machine tools from reputed brands and CNC cutting machines. There's definitely lots of talk about. Here's a video. The comment bots are back. Hmm. Well. Yeah, there was no link though you guys are i mean i guess maybe you guys got some from that account but like right now in the chat there was no link vask dot t-e-c-h I, I didn't even uh like i just googled it and it didn't bring back anything at all vask tech is actually a company it says right here it says uh engage in providing affordable blue ribbon well, that's vasca tech Oh yeah, no, it's definitely a naughty website. Definitely a naughty website. Definitely. <laughs> On that note, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, ironically, I was headed for it anyways, but that is not why I promise. That is not why. <laughs> Woo. All right, I will be right back. I will be muting too.
yo, I is back. Sorry that took so long. Like I said, I had to go. Go some real life stuff. Reese has an appointment today. He's got to get to it. And I was trying to figure out how he was getting there. He's got like the Prius keys out with his wallet. And I'm like, bro, I know you passed your test, but you don't have your license yet. He's like, no, I know. Mima's going to go with me, but I'm driving. I was like, okay. Okay. I, I can dig it. I can dig it. So, yeah. Just had to figure out all that stuff. All right. Back to the mo. Here we go. There we go. I almost started without the blades uh, whipping. I wonder if I can knock over that can. I totally could. Not going to, though. That'd probably give me a fine. Long Cod's back. What up? Miss anything else while I was gone? This one's a little trick here. Ow! Oh, I didn't get a fine! <laughs> I'm knocking them all over now. You kidding me? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not nice guy, Bry. We all know nice guy, Ty. Whoa, my Xbox won't have trophy guide 100%. Xbox? Xbox has achievements, not trophies. PlayStation has trophies. But a guide could still get you to 100% on Xbox, for sure. So I'm really hoping to... Uh, open up a new like I need that money for that new headquarters I don't know if I just like need to not fill up I guess you're going to have to fill up the gas but maybe not fix the blades and the mower for a couple of goes I wouldn't think a couple of hundred bucks would make that big of a difference though but it might it might <laughs> this park is definitely uh, it's different it's pretty easy though it's definitely a, a larger and there's a little bit of travel back and forth right going from one section to the next but all in all it's pretty easy going I wonder how our buddy did with the, the pickup remember we sent him to go do litter pickup those are really easy like I don't know if those are worth the time because they're I don't I didn't really pay attention to the money <laughs> hey hey you see that I should go get that now but I'll get it later A little brake boost in there <laughs> some guy in my Volkswagen group posted a question how much money have you spent on your Volkswagen? I read a lot of answers and I was gonna put mine down, but I decided not to, but somebody put it down. It was pretty, it was actually a pretty clever way to say I've spent too much. And he said, listen, I have a car into my car. <laughs> and I laughed cause like, I think like a month ago, I was kind of telling you guys that I've, pretty much spent as much 
on my car as I did for my car. Like dollar for dollar, they almost magically add up to almost the same thing. Like I did a rough estimate of my receipts because I keep everything in a folder. And I was like, oh my God, that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> a lot of cheese for the V's, the V-dubs. Alex is back, kind of scared to go to bed because I'm afraid of being <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think it's anything to be worried about. I, I think it's like the number of like people that it happens to is super small. Toby, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Like, I remember, it almost seems like a couple years back, somebody in our chat had experienced it or knew somebody who had them or something i don't remember because i feel like we had a talk it might not have been happy thumbs related it may have been one of my other places that i frequent um you know friends or family or something i, I don't remember but i feel like somebody sort of close was talking about it and that, like it had happened to them twice and I remember, like, at that point, Dwight, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy our content. I feel like at that point I was like, is this a real thing? You know, because people don't, people kind of laugh at me. I, I, it's been a while since I brought this up. And, and to my knowledge, it hasn't happened in a while. But I, I don't know that for sure. But I am, I, I, I suffer from, you know, some from insomnia. But also... I also, I don't know if I call it suffer, but I also experience uh, sleep eating. I, I don't know when it started, but like, I do know that when I lived with my grandparents, it was a thing and it happened then so when i was at least you know as far back as at least 15 i would go and oh this is the one that i we needed <laughs> um <clears throat> i i guess i get up and i go and i eat food um usually cookies or some sort of like pastry candy or something sweet almost always something sweet um, my like n nobody like my wife my mother-in-law my son none of them have seen me do it but I remember like a few years back we were like laughing about whatever and, and someone was like oh yeah you'll you gotta keep those away from you you'll sleep eat them and we were at my grandparents and my grandma was like oh yeah that's true and my wife was like, wait, what, you know about his sleep eating? And she was like, oh, yeah, he used to do that all the time when he lived with us. And I was like, wait, what? I did? I don't know. I, you've never... She goes, oh, yeah, I'd catch you in the kitchen. You'd usually be in the cookie jar getting cookies. And I'd be like, and I was asleep, like, full on asleep. She's like, yeah. I'd be like, Brian, what are you doing? Brian, Brian, hey, Brian, get out of the cookies. It's 2 in the morning. What are you doing? Go to bed. And... And apparently I would just, like, keep doing what I was doing. I'd walk right by her, go upstairs, and go to bed. But I know that it happens because I wake up with crumbs, like, on me and in the bed with me. And, and like, sometimes I'll wake up and I'll have, like, Oreo stuck in my teeth or something. So, I mean, like, I think you're probably more likely to have something like that. Experience some sleep eating or some insomnia versus like sleep terror like night terrors is kind of a thing too uh i was just talking about that the other day because i watched that, that movie uh i think it's called like the drunk bus or the drunk yeah it's drunk bus i think um and there's there's a character in the movie that <laughs> suffers from night terrors her name is tara tara with night terrors and um it's it's interesting it's <laughs> Yeah, it's an interesting movie. It a fun movie. Fun movie. I liked it. Uh, see here. Sleep eating is a side effect of Ambien. I've never taken Ambien in my life. I, 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 I did not know that, though. Uh, 
I've I've never I don't take melatonin. I don't take I don't take anything. Um, so I I don't know what you know, and even like especially all the way back to when I was fifteen, like I I don't take any medications. Like I've never actively been on like a Prozac or anything. They tried to put me on some stuff at one point. Uh, due to my ADHD and stuff, but I, I didn't stick with it, um, and so I, I didn't. That was like a one-day thing. Um, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe that one day caused it for life. A different different types of pills, though. Probably not related. Um, I think it was Paxil they tried to put me on, or Ritalin. Paxil or Ritalin. Those two come to mind, but those were like the popular go-tos. So I don't know, something like that. Right. Wasn't me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, go back over here. Is it like sleepwalking? Yeah, it, it's sleepwalking, but it also is paired with consuming food. <laughs> like I said, usually cookies. Oreos have sort of been one of the long-term cookies in my house and they've also been the ones that I apparently consume while I'm sleeping dudes I have destroyed the flower beds here I'm gonna have I, I don't know if I'm gonna actually make any money on this job I did I, I did a Brody turning hard and I got fined for that I also have taken out probably 10 plants and I think I just missed some grass right there too so I tried Toast, hot pads, other scary things. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think I've ever cooked anything, but, I mean, I couldn't tell you for sure. I remember when I was watching that show Raising Hope, uh, the dad, Bert, he sleep eats. And, and they, they, like, laugh because they're like, Jimmy, the son's like, well, how does he stay so fit? And then the mom's like, hey, sleep exercises, too. And then, like, later in the episode, it shows him doing, like, crunches and, like, pull-ups in his sleep. I, I don't know that I've ever worked out. I, 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 I think it's safe to say that I haven't. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, uh, I don't know, you know. I mean, it's one of those things. I, I'm lucky my wife is who she is, and she accepts me for who I am. Sleep eating and all. I'm sure I do a lot of farting in my sleep, too. I mean, not that anybody asked, but... Side effect of sleep eating. <laughs> sleep seeping? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I, so far, like I said, I think mine have been, like, all just, like, cookies and pastries and... Like, like my friend Jordan, he, we've talked about this before. He's super smart and, and knows a lot. He'll Google stuff, too, to, like, find out more about somebody's condition or a situation or medication. And he was actually, um, I don't know what the proper term is. I don't think pharmacist is the right word. But he, like, went to school to be, like, a, um, well, basically, like, a medicinal engineer I mean again I don't even know what the right term is like like he knows all sorts of like compounds and like how drugs are made and like and I don't mean like crack and, and stuff like that I mean he probably knows that too but uh, I'm talking about like like actual prescribed medicines like um, that was like part of his school was to learn about all the different types and he did work at a pharmacy for a while, um, but that's not like, it was more of like the engineer, like medical engineer. I don't know. Um, too smart for me. But, uh, you know, he's he's talked about, you know, me sleeping. He's like, he's like, I've been really like, you know, drunk or faded or whatever and woke up in the middle of the night going for some food but I don't think I've ever slept eight and I was like yeah I don't know if like I just don't fully wake up or if I'm like I, I couldn't tell you I don't have any memories of it like I usually know when I wake up and like 
you know, I, I brush my teeth every night before I go to bed. So if I wake up and my teeth are all, you know, cookies and like my saliva is all chocolatey or whatever, you know, I mean, it's a pretty good indication. I got, I got maple breath in the morning. It's probably, probably related to the missing maple bar or whatever, right? Like, um, yeah. And I'd like to attribute my ex, my excessive weight to that, <laughs> I don't think there's enough of that going on to be the culprit. Yeah, but again, I, Alex, I think if you look up the numbers of people that that's happened to, I think in the history of like humanity, I think recorded cases are like in the hundreds or thousands and think of how many millions or billions of he people there have been so it's not something that you would ever really need to worry about like is it possible it could happen to you sure but i bet you there's some sort of like you know not to get you going down another rabbit hole or freak you out but i mean i think more people have spontaneously combusted then there have been sleep paralysis. But I could totally be wrong. I'm not a doctor. I don't really know the numbers. I've just seen, like, um, Ripley, believe it or not, stories and, like, um, you know, unsolved mysteries. I've seen a bunch of those things that revolved around, you know, spontaneous combustion where I don't think I've ever seen one on sleep paralysis. I have talk talked about it and... and uh, I want to say there's a movie that that happens in at some point too, but I don't. I can't think of what that is. But I don't think it's anything <clears throat> you would need to worry about. And if you are worried about it, you know, talk to your parents about it. And if they don't have the answers you seek, you know, talk to your doctor. You know, doctors don't know everything, but they can certainly point you in the right direction in most cases. Like I don't think they can explain why I sleepy. Is it because I didn't eat enough dinner? Is it because I just my body wants to be fat and I need more cookies. I watch too much Sesame Street. Nom, 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 nom. You know, like Cookie Monster stuff? I don't know. I mean, if, if you just learned about this and, like, you saw it on TV or read about it somewhere or something and there's been no symptoms or signs of anything, I wouldn't worry about it at all, right? I mean, there's so many things that, like, you know, like, shortness of breath can mean a lot of different things. And, I mean, it's, it's just hard to, like, self-diagnose or anything if, you, if you've had some issues like ray suggests i would definitely go see a doctor or talk to your doctor about it like i also suggested parents would be first spot uh you know see what they think see if they have any reason to believe you might have some history of it in your family you know your family may be you know every other generation there's weird stuff that happens with genetics so uh you know the parents would probably know a fair amount to start with and uh, and then moving on to the doctor Inner Cookie Monster. <laughs> no, 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 no. That mixed with the count. One cookie. Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. Two cookies. Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. Whoa, I am almost out of gasoline. Gray may appreciate that if he's still here. I've been mowing on this yard for days. Mowing on this yard for days. Now I need gasoline. <laughs> I hope Gray's out there. <laughs> uh, that would be one of those moments where the clip it would be good. I've been mowing on this park for days. Now I need gasoline. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he is there. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Stupid, but kind of funny. Stupid, but kind of funny. <laughs> ah, you know, I know I once said that I don't laugh at my own jokes, but <laughs> uh, even that is funny. Gray, that's what we should do. We should make like parody songs over the next week or two. Like songs that like make sense, like, you know, I've been mowing on this yard for days. And then I could like play those songs and not get copyrighted, because it'd be us. Reese has a soundboard that has all sorts of sounds. I mean I think most of them are farts. But he might be able to make melodies. You know, like, mowing on this yard for days. Now I need some gasoline. So do it, why not? <laughs> Since somebody called me on it, Ray's, and I tried to play it cool, that's when. Hey, Gray's a pretty good singer. I, I've even got, uh, I've got proof. I've got proof that Gray's a good singer. Right? Right, Gray? <laughs> uh, I think I owe Kim the special thanks on that one. Oh, I don't know, Chacho. If you saw what I've seen, you might change your mind. <laughs> Gray knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have that file. I actually came across it like the other. In fact, you know what? In fact, it, it's it. It was one of the photos or one of the videos, I should say, that transferred with my uh, with my phone. But it, it's weird. It put them in weird order. So it's not... Oh, yeah. Here's that, too. We were talking about John Cena looking like Ernest. Here's that meme. Tell me tell me that those two don't look alike. You know what I mean, Mark? That's Ernest and John Cena. Uh, I know I'm sidetracked. I'm looking for Gray singing. Uh, let's see here. Where is it? Is it right here? No. Is it right? Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Oh, God, it's going to be copyright, though. Um. Stop, stop, stop! 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 Oh, my God. I'm sure that's copyrighted. Two seconds of copyright, that's all it takes. Talked about my dog training. <laughs> yeah, you've got that too, huh, Kirsten? <laughs> uh, my, uh, he, uh, my, uh, ha, ha. Gray can definitely sing. So. I don't want to ruin the awesomeness. The awesomeness of that uh, scenario, because Gray is pretty talented. I'm gonna laugh so hard if that two seconds, even with me screaming, no, no, <laughs> if that's gonna be copyrighted or not. Boy, this has turned into a mess here. It's 
sleeping spray, huh? And when when did this come about? You, you just got back from the doctor? Is that like I'm getting bits and pieces, and maybe I'm misreading or something, but for how it started was that you just had discovered that that existed. Not that you were having experiences with it, but now it sounds like you're talking like you are experiencing it? You have sleep paralysis? I, I, I guess I'm confused. Somebody want to paraphrase for me or get me caught up? Am I reading it wrong? Is he just... Is he just sort of panicking that it, that it's a reality that that could happen? Or because now I'm seeing stuff about like my doctor's got this and that. Like, are you really having sleep paralysis? Anybody but Kirsten answered. She misread some stuff earlier. I don't trust her today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, Alright, I think I got it all but that little couple patches. That was a nice swipe. Scorpius, what is up? Welcome to the stream! Oh, come on. I need one more percent. Oh, that's not going to give it to me? Where, oh, where is that one percent? It's a little bit right there. Snag a little bit more right here. Come on. My goodness. I mean, there's like... I haven't run into this yet. Where... I'm at the end, hmm. and I'm so close, but nothing to mow. Damage? That's a bunch of crap. Ram it. Looks like there's a little bit right there, a little scuffle. I can't scan when I'm not on the mower. Interesting. Come on, I need, like, not even a half of a percent. Hmm. 
guess I probably shouldn't be using so much gasoline. Ninety nine point seven. What? Okay, so I need more than that. So I need another percent. Is it really ninety nine point ninety nine point nine? Not cool, man. Not cool. I don't like that I can't see. <laughs> Just start buzzing it all. Well, I feel like I need to get my mower back out. Because I'm not really seeing any spots to get. Last time I'm taking this damn contract. Can I, like, run through them, too, or do I get... Okay, so I can just run right through. So that one's good. I feel like I've done all the trees. such a bummer you can't see the uncut grass while you're in there's no cause normally you would push and hold but it doesn't work I feel like I'm getting robbed Ooh. So oh, 99.7, come on. All right, back to the... Oops. All right, let's get back on the mower. Exactly. You missed one blade of grass. Are you kidding me? I feel like I got all of these, but I guess I didn't, huh? Watch out, plants! <laughs> so there's some, like, along these edges and stuff. Still 99.7, though. place to have a little alfalfa sprout. So. Still 99.7, what the crap?
it's all just like right along this edge. At this point, I don't even care. I'm just mowing stuff. Still not even. It seems like there's like a big patch or something I've got who have missed, but I mean that wouldn't constitute. Come on, get behind it. Ooh, 99.8! Damage the crown. Oh my god. Ooh. Got it. Oof. Nice little patch right here. Huh? This should be it. Oh, look at that. There's a couple little wonka doos here. Hmm. Feel like I can still get gooder there. Hey, dude! How do you download this game? Well, I got it off of Game Pass, which you sh if you have Game Pass, you should be able to just go to the Game Pass options and choose it and download it. Um, if you don't have Game Pass, then you'd need to find a platform to play it on, which I believe it's on PC as well as the Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody cares about your flowers, bruh. You're on PC? Well, if you have the Game Pass, then you should be able to uh, use the Game Pass for PC. Or, uh, you know, I believe it's on Steam as well. What? This is like super tedious. We haven't ever had one that required anything higher than 99.7, I don't think. Let's see if I can get up in there with this guy. A little bit, not all of it though. Well. It's all string trim stuff from here on out, really. I can't really get any closer here. And that cost me money, I'm sure. I was sure of it. Appreciate that, Hayden. If you do it now, your name might even pop up on screen. Huh. Ooh. Come on. Hey. Oh, there's one blade right there. What? Watch. Just like Tyler said, that would have been funny if that one blade would have been the one. I'm not seeing like nothing. Might be able to snap that. I mean, that's crazy. None over there, huh? None over in that flower bed, really, either. A little bit around those trees. Just blade here, blade there. A little patch right here.
come on! <laughs> Holy crap. Buy a doctor, huh? Yeah, I, if I take this job again, I'm definitely giving it to my employee. Yes! What's up, Carter? What you laughing about, Greg? I wonder if, can I park this backwards? Nope. It's a funny angle. Uh, can I fill up the gas or no? Alright. How bad was the damage? Probably like a thousand dollars in flour. Only twenty eight bucks. I still got a thousand pounds from mowing that. I don't know that. I don't know what a pound is to a dollar, if that's a good deal or not, but. Well, you can show! Mighty Mowing Park Ranger. <laughs> Mighty Mowing Park Ranger. I get it. Like, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Which is almost as cool as a Drex, but not quite. Can't do it. Give it to somebody else. Uh, uh oh, Chacho's got a headache. That's no good, bro. Uh, let's see here. How much cheese do I've got? Uh, one fifty-four. Okay, purchase HQ. Got one hundred and fifty-four. Next, so I need twenty more K. Jeez. And I can't sell. That sucks. I can't sell my original joint because. I just have to slowly upgrade. I mean, it's only 15,000. But, I mean, that's quite a bit. I guess let's put... Uh, get the word out there on the street. Let's go here and make sure Buddy got all... Okay. He's filled up. Oh, yeah, he didn't... Uh, I sent him on... <laughs> I sent him on an easy... That's what I should do. Do we have any litter pickup? So we've got this guy. That will literally take probably the rest of the stream and then some. This one, not so much. Not a very good payout, though, either. This one would for sure take full. Ever. So let's put Buddy on that one. It's going to take him like six years to do it. Confirmed. All right, and then let's put me on. Should we do the Nook or the? So they're both cottages, Old Nook or Orchard. I think I'll stick with Orchard versus Old Nook. <laughs> Might end that. Uh, what's up, Nick? Welcome to the stream. So uh, me, this guy, and of course the big daddy. You can show. Let's get, 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 get it started. should be aware of or no or is that like a big fat nah nah brand nah all right ground objects five so there's one z two z Uh, 
excuse you? Is it a moo on the grind over there? I don't see it, I hear it though. What was that? A squeak toy or something? Alright, let me chill. Okay, let's go ahead and hop on, fire it up, turn up the juice, and what was the height? Uh, five. Jeez, look how tall it is! Five and a half, so six. On the lawn again. Just can't wait to mow all the lawn again. I wonder, I didn't look to see 99.5. All right. So these guys are not jerks like the city. The city contracts are the worst. You know, I've heard that before too. Like working with people, whoops. Uh, I've heard that there are definitely issues with city contracts. Oh my God. So about your flower bed, it's just a bed now. <laughs> Giving these flowers a little sleep paralysis. Whoa, bro. Those chicken coops? Buddy's doing on his other mission that I sent him on. That was a rough go. We'll get paid for it though. Although it's gonna take him forever because he's got the small mower and I sent him on the big task. Yeah, there was no flowers there, I assure you. I assure you we're open. Might be going a little too fast for this flower line here, but eh. Who's counting? What oh, the game is, I forgot. Alright. Lap one. D -d 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 Done. So great could be an employee. Bro, you, you I, I would have hired you too, Tyler. I would have hired anybody who was willing to mow with me. We did talk about that. Multiplayer would have been cool. I had some cool ideas too, like some leisure suit Larry type of stuff where like you get to a house and there may be like a, you know, a lonely housewife or something, you know. You got to make choices, right? You got to make choices and the choices will determine your reputation on the street. So you can't be too swanky. Otherwise, you might end up getting a reputation for bad things. But you can't turn down all the housewives, right? I mean, or I don't know. Maybe you should. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just saying, it's a video game, right? You know how I do with choices. What's up, William? Welcome to the stream. Didn't have the right size. Uh, just got here for Covered in bits of black tin. What the hell? Oh, that's weird. So it's got like fuzzies on it or something, and it wasn't part of the design. It's like some junk, some junkery that's on it. Or did I read that wrong? Oh, this game's fun, Tyler. It's totally worth a go. I don't know why you wouldn't. There's a certain weird satisfaction about playing it, being able to like upgrade and like. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I, I tend to like these sort of like, like the zoo tycoons and the roller ty roller coaster tycoons and you know the business building sort of like simulators, right? I've always enjoyed those. I mean, if you got other things to play, I mean, it's just this does lack a little of excitement. But I mean, it's 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 definitely a you know a time killer. Because you mow one yard and sometimes an hour will go by. That last yard took me an hour to mow. 
And I did take a BRB in between too, which was like 10 minutes long. So it took me longer than an hour to get that yard mode. Um, but like I said, you know, it's on Game Pass. You got Game Pass. Definitely worth a go if you got nothing else going on. <clears throat> I was going to say, I'm sure you got Animal Crossing stuff. And I look over and of course I see you commenting about AC. You got dailies to grind and stuff, I'm sure. Yeah, I do wish you could sort of like, like in Farm Simulator, you can tell your guy to like drive in straight lines or whatever. He's like sort of autopilots. I think you have to pay for that or something too, but. This game, this game could certainly get a few upgrades that would be, you know, that would make it even more in, enjoyable than it is. You're slowly building a basketball cart? That's cool. I'm trying to label it Blazers to get me to come join the Animal Crossing realm. Bro, I built you a Blazer Stadium. Come hang. Thirty percent. Hayden is out of here. See you later, Hayden. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate your support. I could, but nah. I prefer the response. Challenge accepted. Oh, dang. That's crazy, Kirsten. I mean, it's it's the new style. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, something tells me you're going to be making a trip to Kohl's here later today. Or soon. Give him the old not cool coals speech. Ay, sorry. That was a rough turn at the end there, boy. Boy, my wife made banana bread last night, and I had like a pretty decent slice of it on top of my oatmeal. I am, like, my stomach's acting like I have not eaten in weeks. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> like, it's, it's peeved. I wonder if they'll notice the awkward stripe going the wrong way. Donna, what's up? I am playing this on the Xbox Series X, but it should be available on Game Pass as well as PC. So uh, I think it's I, I think you can get it for Series S, maybe for Xbox One. That I'm not sure of. It might be a series only game, uh, but it is available on PC as well. I would imagine that PlayStation will get their hands dirty at some point. Once they see me playing it on Xbox, they'll be like, <laughs> Brian needs his trophies. We better get that game for PlayStation. I don't I don't think they'll really care or even... I don't think they'd even know who I am. In fact, if they did, they wouldn't have taken my PlayStation reward points away from me. I enjoyed those. I strived to get Platinums on games for my $1 bonus credit. And those dollars added up. When you got a lot of platinums, those dollars definitely add up. Now they're taking them away. I do not believe it is on PS4. I, I could be wrong, but I do not believe this game has landed on the PlayStation side of things yet. It's fairly new to Xbox even, last couple of weeks. 
think roughly three to four weeks ago it came out. And it started as a challenge. Todd was kind of like, mowing Mondays, bro. Ha, ha, ha. And I was like, dude, I don't have a game for Monday. That actually would be. And he's like, listen, it's actually kind of satisfying, bro. You should give it a shot. And I was like, no, nah, I'm playing it for real. And he laughed. And I was like, no, you think I'm kidding? I'm serious. I'm playing. He's like, you, you really going to play it? And I was like, yeah, totally going to play it. And so then, you know, I played the first week and I enjoyed it, but I got hit with a copyright strike. So I felt like sort of, uh, I don't know, felt like I needed to come back and, and give it a second go. And I did. And I had fun then, too. And so far this week's been uh, enjoyable, too. We get a lot of new faces, like a lot of people stop by that don't often stop by. They'll see me playing another game and, uh, you know, they'll pass on by usually, but they'll see me playing this one. And they'll be like, what is this? Is this really a game? You know, so it's it's kind of fun getting to see new and some older faces too. We got Loki showed up today. Loki's like, what is going on? You're playing what? Animal Crossing Mondays. <laughs> There's nothing to do in that game. That's That game's, like, worser than Minecraft as far as, like, like requiring a bunch of creative inspiration and effort. Like, if there were, like, actual tasks... And I get, like, yes, there are things you need to do in order to make currencies or foods or whatever. But that's all just, like... I don't know. It's, it's sort of like a survival game in some senses. I just, you know me, I just don't even, like, even the nicer graphically ones, like the, the like Stranded Deep, I didn't love that game, it was actually pretty broken I think that was probably the funnest part about that game, although had I not have screwed myself over in the first 10 minutes of playing, not knowing that it was going to affect me the entire rest of that gameplay um, I would have done things a little different, I think I think if Gray and I were to play that again um, but I think he went and platinumed it Now, I think some of you are going to love and some of you are going to hate the new Friday game that's coming. Not, again, not this Friday, but the following Friday. Um, and I will I will potentially be replacing this towards the first of the year as well. Um, there's not a lot out, nothing new coming, not a lot of back catalog stuff that needs to be done. Um, so for now, I'm just kind of rolling with the... God, that is so dumb. It just literally, like, jerked me into that flower. Oh, well. $2. Oh, you didn't platinum again. Okay. I know you did some of the stuff without me. I just figured you went and did it all. <laughs> no, I know. I, I sort of indicated that it was unlikely that we would return to that however it did stream wise it actually did fairly well and i don't know if it was because people loved seeing me struggle like that's always something i try to figure out like do certain games succeed because i was bad at them and they sort of infuriated me because i mean i don't get mad too often i mean there's the uch days and there have been a few other games like you know we don't need to mention them, but there have been a few out there that have driven me nuts. Um, and I know some of you really enjoy that. Like Robert for sure thrives off my misery. I know sad thumbs gaming thrives off my misery, which would be Tyler and Nam. And, um, you know, but I, beyond that, I don't know what the, the majority of the viewers would, would they prefer to see me succeed and get a platinum, even if it's like an easy one, you know, I sort of walked away from those easy platinums Mainly because the last one I did ended up not being easy. There was that one thing. What was it? Alteric, I think was the name of it. That one stupid jump. I just couldn't. I couldn't manipulate my guy to do what I needed to do. And time ran thin. And there wasn't enough to bring that game back for another stream. Right? Like, I was pretty much 80% or more. And it was only, like, a small go anyways. Um. But yeah, I, uh, not... There's been a couple of them. Alteric, Alex Kidd had... 
it was almost the identical thing too like the way that i needed to get by this particular part it was almost the same like mechanic or you know physics and i just could not get good um Easier than a reverb, right? Earth defense force games. Are those tower defense games? You know, I thought about busting out monsters too. Well, I might bust them both out playing me. I've platinumed them both, or 100%. I don't think the first one has a platinum. In fact, I'm not sure the second one had a platinum, but we got 100% on the trophies on both of them. Monsters is one of my favorite, like, tower defense games. Um, I tweet at them and retweet all of their stuff all the time in hopes. And I'm always like, when's Monsters 3 coming? When is Monsters 2 remastered for PS5 coming? You know, like... I tweet at them, you know, fairly often, considering I don't tweet at many devs. They're probably one of the most <laughs> annoyed by Brian situations. Um, and, and I would love to see Monster. By far, my wife's favorite. She doesn't like video games very much. She's got so many things going on. And she's the type that would rather read a book or something, whether it's educational or just for fun, versus playing video games, you know. And so... She dives into that stuff versus, but if I had monsters up, hours would go by before she even thought about learning or reading or doing anything. Like, we bought it for the Switch and replayed it on the Switch. Like, uh, yeah. PS Vita, we played it on the Vita. Wait, did we get it? Maybe it was just the Vita. Maybe it, it might not even be out on Switch, actually. I can't remember. I do remember thinking there was DLC that we didn't have recently, and I full lipped out, and then I went to go buy it. And, like, the store wasn't showing me in the preview that I had it. But when I got to the store to buy it, it's like, oh, yeah, you got this. I'm like, no! I thought there was new levels, new stuff that we were going to be able to do! Nah. But yeah, Monsters and Monsters 2. Both really fun games. Beautiful Joe. I don't think I ever played those. Upgrade your characters. Is it their character or is it? It's, so it's not tower. It's characters. I'm not familiar with them. I thought they were tower defense games. Shows what you know. <laughs> All right, eighty-four percent almost. I wanted to bring back SOCOM. Even if it's just a playable server that's official. Those other ones work, but there's definitely some... Listen, I haven't experienced, experienced it firsthand, but there's a lot of people in the community that feel like the people that run those private servers sort of act like they... I don't know. I, I don't want to use the word better than others, but they don't treat people the way they probably should. Being the people that own it. Now, they, they service it. They pay for a lot of it. They created it. I, I mean, props should be given for sure. But, I mean, it should never be excused to, like, be an arse. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, if I had a Minecraft server or something that I ran... And even if I never hardly ever used it or whatever, I still would treat people with respect. I mean, there's going to be some people that need to be bounced or have to have some course correcting or whatever. But, I mean, ultimately, I, I wouldn't act like, like I was a god because it was my server or something. Only do that with my SOCOM plan. That's what your PSN avatar is. Oh, is it? Okay, okay. I, uh, mine is a watermelon starfish pig. <laughs> I picked that on the PS3, like, you know, 
12, 13 years ago or something like that, and it's just stayed. I've looked at premium ones. I've looked at free ones. I've never found one that I felt needed to replace it. I've always felt like my watermelon starfish pig was just funnier. I don't know. Whoa, who's whistling? Monster Hunter. Probably. It probably is. It probably is. I've always wanted to play that game. You told me I wouldn't like it, though, so I never I never even really gave it a chance. But even before you told me that, I've had, I've had interest in the game. I watched the movie. I mean, it was all right. I know that movies don't represent the games in any way, shape, or form, just like Resident Evil movies have not even been in alignment with characters or storylines or anything really <laughs> in, in the games but uh that's gonna change though the new one's supposed to uh change that up and it's it should be available on digital platforms pretty soon actually because it was in theaters a few like weeks or months ago um usually it doesn't take but like two to three months before that stuff becomes digitally available i, I really want to see that um yeah, I've always enjoyed the Resident Evil series. I like a good scare. I, you know, I like that chase element sort of stimulates, you know, the uh, the, the emotions, the feels. Uh, also creates some anxiety. But part of the fun. Part of the fun. I'm excited for the new year because there's going to be some new games like not only that we are playing that will also be available um, you know but like I, I, like I said I, I'm, I'm curious to see how some of my predictions or like my future projects my streams and stuff how they will do because um, you never know until it's out there and uh I'd like to think that they, some of them, I, like a couple of them have definitely been, you know, requested or like, hey, when that drops, are you going to do it? So I feel like once that comes, I know that there will be at least a small group that will return for some of it. And I know there's the daily, the dailies that show up no matter what game it is too, but uh, Sniper Elite, yes. Oh, no kidding. Ooh. Well, do we have a release date for that? That's like February or March or something, isn't it? It's, it's next year. No, it's 23, isn't it? I feel like that one's out there. Wait, so many games right now, and I haven't really tracked them. Fill it up. Alright, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Maybe I'll have a haircut by the time that game comes out. I don't think you realize how bad my hair really is right now. It's sort of in that like stage between where it's like awesome and where it's like not not so not so much. <laughs> I still think you missed this one until I was wishing that this game had horns. You know, so we can, meh, you know, different different horns to add as we're mowing the lawn. Uh, okay, so we've got almost six G's in the bank. If I go to purchase, how am I looking? Still one fifty. Okay, no, that's my current value. So I'm not even not even remotely. Cool. I've been looking at this completely wrong. Um, Cost to buy 160,000. Are you sure you want to move HQ from what? Oh. Yeah. 
So I can, okay, so my value plus what I have in the, okay, okay, okay. Booyaka chow! Look at that HTG on the header, bro. On the heading. It's like official. Okay, so let's go to maintenance. Let's go and go. Let's refuel. Blood, 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 blood. Let's fix the blades. The blades were in bad shape, bro. So was your. Okay, so we are fully prepared on that guy. And we broke. I'm not even going to be able to fix mine. Okay, so um, I have applicants. I could probably hire another person. Okay, we got Gabriel, we got Phoebe. Okay, so do they all request the same? No, they have different. Okay. Has a candlelit bath every Sunday? Has 11 toes? Do, is that why I gotta pay extra? None of, none of she's, Harriet's the only one that costs 350 a week. It doesn't say anything about. It does say she's proficient. Thinks mushrooms should be banned. Makes their own high end luggage. Okay. Iraq, the boot to refrobe. I want to eat pizza every day for a year. That's crazy. Uh, he was born ready. Okay. Okay, so these two both have candlelit bath every Sunday. Is that weird that they both share that same fact? Like, look, it doesn't even change. Like, everything else changes, but those two things don't change. All right, who should I hire? You guys have any input? Tiny Pete. You know, I don't know what it was. Something about Borderlands 3, I just didn't connect with i don't know if it was like who i was playing it with i don't know if it was i don't know i don't know if it was uh i don't know do i have enough mowers uh no but i'll, I'll hire them anyways i did that with my other guy too I will have enough mowers after we mow. I, I could hopefully send him out to do some litter cleanup. You might not have made it that far yet, Gray. There's definitely litter cleanup stuffs too. Uh, and it might not be in this particular go either. So we've got... Uh... Oh, there isn't. Okay, but this one's easy. I wonder if I could just send him with the weed whacker. <laughs> How much time we got left? Half hour or so. All right, so we'll send... All right, let's send, wait a minute, wait a minute. Purchase more strimmers, yes. Do I have enough for, I do not. Yes, accept. Wow, that's not what I meant to do, dang it. All right, so. I guess I want to do this one. Okay, yep, we'll do this one. Requires a mulcher. That's perfect, perfect. Do I have to take one? I do, don't I? Of course I'm going to take the good one. Alright, let's send... Let's send new guy, new gal, out... All right, here we are. Mr. Data Farming, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Oh, this is like the easiest yard ever. This is like my, hopefully my future yard of my house when, uh, when we secure our house. I don't really like, you know, my grand, I talk about my grandparents' house and potentially getting that next summer that would mean I would have to be I would be doing this in real life again I'd be riding a giant lawnmower <laughs> around oh boy and 
What's my target? It's five and a half, so we'll mark it down at six. And we'll go ahead and drop it like it's hot and kick it on and let's go. Let's mow, I should say. <laughs> there. It's alright though. I'll get it gooder. Can't take your eyes off too long because it actually jumps pretty heavily. You know, another movie that should be probably fairly close to digital release? Ghostbusters Afterlife. It's been a couple three four weeks since it was in theaters hasn't it definitely want to see that it's been a while since I've seen Paul Rudd and something I love Paul Rudd um, last night we actually watched a uh, mythic quest where like I don't know season two episode like nine or ten or something like that and um, it was all a, a backstory of one of the one of the older characters. So it was like way back in the seventies that this episode took place, and um, there was a character. So, so the, the the main character meets up with these two others, and they're sort of like this group. And the whole episode's about these three people and how they sort of help each other. And it looks like it's going to go one way, and then things pretty much backfire and go a different way. And um, the one one of the characters though I was like that's got to be Paul Rudd's brother I, and I don't remember his name but like the way he was like the makeup was on and the way his hair was styled and the uh, just his facial expressions and the way he talked I was sure I, I would have bet money that Paul Rudd and him were related and I mean you know there are those times where like certain actors or actresses will not carry a family name because they don't want to be associated with it. Like, right? Like, we saw Angelina Jolie do that with what What was her stepdad's name? I can't remember. I think it was stepdad. You know, she didn't use his name because she wanted to succeed on her own. Uh, you know, there, there's been more than a couple of cases like that. Uh, and I wondered, but I looked it up and there's no relation whatsoever to Paul. But I'm telling you, this dude looks like him. Um,. And I, I bet you guys would be like, oh, yeah, totally. Except for Nam. He always disagrees with me. You know, I keep waiting to get, like jump scared by my wife I don't know if she's even home right now in fact I might be the only one home at the moment but um, they'll all be back soon and I just always worry that she's gonna come up here and scare the bejesus out of me funny to have a compilation of all the times she's done it. She's done it at least a half a dozen times. I need to have like a mirror or something above me or some sort of like a like when you walk into a supermarket or a convenience store you know like have like a marker and have it in a spot where it's too tall for her to step over and too low for her to crawl under you know what I mean? Find that sweet spot if there is such a thing. 
I have to put double sensors down. Almost a third of the way done. Which is actually behind schedule. I'm supposed to be like, I thought it said like 15 minutes. 12.30. See, I, like, I don't know, like, I must be missing something in like the sense of like upgrading the speed or something. Like, there, there must be some sort of upgrades I can do. The blade width, perhaps? You know, that, that would be the most effective upgrade, I would think, because. There's still going to be like ruts, roots, ups and downs, spots that you can't go fast in. But a wider deck is going to give you a, a bigger reach, right? You're hungry. Me too. Me too. Hopefully I can make that turn back there now. I should start doing that here too, just sort of widening this. So I don't have to do that weird back and forth turn. I feel like that kills a lot of my momentum. I feel like I've done a lot more laps than, it, than I'm getting credit here for. And I'm probably not utilizing my mower. Like, I still wonder if... Uh, this is not the best view for this game. But the trees, you know, that's what gets me. And when there's no tree there, it's like the best view. Here comes the tree, da -da -da -da, blocking me, so I can't see. He -he 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 -he. It's gonna be one of those big wonky turns again. There, I gotta fix that. height that would help no actually lowering the blade height so each one has a certain height that it needs to be cut at so if I lower the blade that's gonna make it uh, more grass being cut but it actually has a better chance of being you know hitting a root bogging out um, and, and also the game will not I mean it will let you cut at the wrong height but it very much warns you and tells you not to and to change it. Um, and it's definitely recommended to cut at the right height. It's like one of the details that your contracts make sure that you get done is the right height. Aye, aye, aye. Guess that's the one I've been using, huh? I don't think we're going to make the target time. I'm literally floored right now. I can't go any faster. Boy, uh, 
what a crazy month it's been analytically. Uh, like, huge, huge boost due to LEGO DC Super Villains. I, I think that had it been any other LEGO game, it wouldn't have been the same. And I think it's because LEGO DC Super Villains was one of the more expensive, one of the more recent ones that has not had a lot of, like, Robert sales or, like, $20 or $5 sales, right? So a lot of people have been waiting for that to go on sale and they haven't picked it up and played it yet. But I think it's one of the top of the list games for Lego players, right? Like I think a lot of people enjoy that one have wanted to play it, but it's an old game. So who wants to pay 40 bucks for it or whatever, right? So having it be part of PS Plus has helped tremendously. I, I can't even count how many people in the last week, even while we were streaming, I've had two or three Brian, you just helped me get platinum on this game. Thank you so much. You know, just hit 100%, Brian. Thanks to your help. Thank you so... You know, like, that's awesome. Like, and it's been a huge swell. Like, I was looking at numbers the other day. Kirsten and I were kind of talking about it. It all started with looking for that year-end wrap-up. And then I started just, like, looking at my own analytics just to see how the year went. And I was blown away by the year I had. And then just out of curiosity, I went to last year to look. And this year's numbers were lesser and not nearly as good as last year. And I was like, dude, what did I do wrong? And then I started thinking about it. I was like, oh, yeah, those are pandemic numbers. Everybody was at home last year. Views were never as good as they were last year. Like, the fact that I wasn't that far behind last year's this year was a huge milestone. So I went from, like, almost, like, sobbing to, like, Woo to the hoo! You know what I mean? Like, I was pretty impressed with how it all ended up. Um, and it was a huge burst at the end. Huge burst at the end of the year, uh, you know, with this December push for LEGO DC. And, and, you know, that'll probably continue for the next month or so. And, I mean, who knows what game will be next? I mean, guys, I've got so many guides. There's over 3,500 videos of ours online. You know, I would say probably 700 of them, five, 500 or so, five to 700 are streams. So they're more of like, you know, events or entertainment moments versus, uh, you know, time wasters, if you will, versus help, right? So those views aren't going to be nearly as good as the help views. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of guides out there. We've got so many things. We've got The Last of Us Part Two, you know. When that hits PS Plus, it hasn't already, right? No. First one did, but not, not the new one. Um, that'll be a huge, hopefully, uh, redemption period. Because Reese and I put so much time and effort into that series, and it just sucked analytically. Same with the Uncharted. Like, it was so bad, I didn't even finish it. And, like, those are huge games. Uncharted 4 is huge when it came out. Like, we didn't wait and do it late. We were doing it right around its release shortly after if not right at and even to this day some of those videos don't even have a thousand views i think one of them has like seven thousand views and i'm not sure why that one has so many more views than the other ones but the rest of them are like 1100 a thousand eight hundred seven hundred there's a couple that have like six or five hundred views and those are like four or five years old so they've just been buried at the bottom of our archives and never been found and i don't know if that's my bad for not like you know, I probably could even hire somebody to do, like, monthly spam posts where, like, it's just like, hey, if you're looking for Sly Cooper, here's our Sly Cooper. Hey, if you've ever wanted to play Uncharted, here's the Uncharted. Here's our... Some people might not even know that we have those playlists. You know, a lot of people still show up, as you guys know. Hey, you should upload Lego. It's been, like, a year since you've uploaded a Lego. No, it hasn't. It's only been a few weeks. Where are you at? You know, like... So some people just don't know, and it's not like their fault. It's just YouTube's not displaying that info, or maybe they've chose not to follow or get notified or whatever the case may be. And like I said, maybe I could benefit from actually like posting some of those links on social media more often. And like, you know, I know that once I did hear that Lego DC was going to be out, there was a couple of posts on some bigger groups that I'm a part of on like Facebook and whatever. And me as Brian, not as Happy Thumbs, but as Brian was like, hey, if you guys need some help, this guy'd help me out. I don't know how many people clicked on the link to see it or if anybody figured out, wait a minute, that's Brian from Happy Thumbs shamelessly promoting his own stuff. How much does it pay? 
well, you won't accept any money from me, so that much. But I mean, ultimately, there's probably like a spam bot, or I could probably spend like a weekend, like like a day on a weekend, and just schedule like, you know, spend like two hours scheduling posts for the next week, you know, maybe two weeks out, and it would just auto post for me. That's always uh, an option too. I just don't. I try not to clutter my stuff with old stuff. Like I hate it when like a news outlet or a gaming company or somebody will talk about old stuff. Like, why are you posting about Like, I see stuff all the time. Tom Cruise wanted to fly his own part in a jet in his latest Mission Impossible movie. Yeah, that's old news. That, that was filmed like a while ago. Why is that popping up? Or, or it'll be like a, a video game that's like a year old, like getting a review. And it's, why? That's, that's a year old. Why is that popping up? There's a couple of pages I follow on Facebook that are notorious for this. And like in the last couple of weeks, it's like they've been just recycling their posts. Like maybe they don't have a social media manager anymore. Or maybe somehow like the posts were scheduled for like last year and they reposted this year at the same time. I don't know. It's really awkward. So I try not to spam old stuff. But if you don't know it's there, it's not recycled, right? We'll probably look to see if there's a litter pickup contract. And if there is, we'll grab that. But if there isn't, this will probably be our last client for today. And I'm pretty stoked. I've got a spot to put another mower. I just need some, <laughs> some cheese to buy one. I might have to take out another loan. I mean, it's not real, so I feel pretty comfortable doing it. <laughs> If it was real, I would definitely not be as interested. I'd be definitely mowing a lot more on my own and not paying some peoples to do it. But I mean, you gotta gotta pay, you know, spend money to make money. And the more people mowing, the more money coming in. The more people mowing, the more money flowing. Right? Something like that. Ooh. Ooh, I could have left a little lightning bolt. <laughs> uh. Or a bunny, perhaps? To have the gas, got to have the gas. All right, looks good. Oh, I missed a spot. <laughs> so I got bonus pay. What was my overall time? I guess it doesn't say right there. What's my other contract? How did Buddy do? Seven ninety-seven. Wait a minute. He cost me 75 cent for collision. And what was it? Valuables recovered, zero penalties and fines. We got a 75 cent warm. Um, anyways. Look at my crew. That's my squad, yo. That's my squad. Upgrade time, seven days. Okay, so I'm going to be. I got a lot of mowing before I can stuff another. So I want. Can I fire, buddy? I want to fire my first guy. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really want to fire my first guy. I like my logo. It's grass. Get the players. I'm good with how I look. And I can shave over a few pounds in RL. But... Hey, guys. It's a couple minutes early. But we're going to wrap it up right there. Um, tomorrow is likely going to be Apex. I got to figure out who's available 
and including myself, um, as it is getting kind of crunch time back towards the end of, you know, the holiday crunch, something like that. Um, you know, there's errands to be ran and things going on. Uh, I do believe, like today, there was some miscommunication. My wife thought I was going to be done at noon, so she made an appointment for Reese. And I was like, hey, you going to take him? I'm like, I'm working. So tomorrow may be different. I may end up having some stuff. I would like to play Apex. I'd love to check out the hollow, the hollow day event, which I think is going to end in a couple of days. Uh, I haven't played the Winter Express once yet, and I need to get at least a couple drops just to remember how much I like or hate it. Um, and then, of course, do some grindage on the Battle Pass, because I have not played. Like, I legit, not only have I not streamed, but I have not played in a couple of weeks. So um, I'd love to get some drops in at some point. It just hasn't worked out. I've been building stuff up for the game break, prepping for the holidays. Um, and I'm also working on another project that um, I will sort of share the uh, the outer shell and maybe some uh, visuals uh, come game break, which will be on the last day at 5 p.m. Last day of the month. Last day of the year. Uh, it, you know, last year I went with a Christmas theme. I try to, even though sometimes the holiday itself has passed, the month itself sort of resonates that theme right so sometimes like easter is early and we have an easter theme even though easter has already taken place joey used to give me a bad time about that but i mean i can't plan for you know christmas in november you know so like i don't it's too confusing doing it another way but i did sort of take that advice and applied it to this year rather than repeating the christmas theme one i went with a new year's theme one because it's gonna be on new year's eve some people are actually already going to be in the next year when we start our game break. So that's going to be kind of crazy. But uh, with just everything going on, I, I think the plan will be streamed tomorrow. Um, we will be streaming for sure on Wednesday. I got to get some more Guardians of the Galaxy. And I actually really enjoyed that game way more than I thought it would. Uh, you know, big shout out to Barry for convincing me to get it. I know there was a couple other people that said it would probably be fun. But Barry was the one that like took some time to sell me on it was like i think you and your your viewers would have some fun with it so check it out and i did and so far i'm enjoying it numbers are medium they're not great but they're not they're not ugly they're not ugly enough to shut it down and play on my own but they're not uncharted numbers let's just say that <laughs> all right uh we do not have a uh, an actual date for lego skywalker it, it's you know march april may ish somewhere in there um, I'd like to say the sooner the better, but I think if they miss that May 4th release date, they've really made a mistake. Um, but, you know, that's probably why they didn't hire me, because what do I know? Uh, anyways, guys, uh, that's going to go ahead and do it for me. Like I said, you guys know pretty much the rest of the week. There is a possibility of, um, you know, playing some game on Friday, but I don't think so. Um, if I had my PlayStation, oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I got, I got, a, I got a minute or two. Let, let me, let me switch over real quick. Let me see if this actually works. If this works, then we're good. But if it doesn't work, uh... hey. too good for your home. All right, three, two, one. Uh. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, it's right here. So I thought about picking this game up, but it's not. It's it's pretty. It's pretty two dollars, yo. It's pretty two dollars. I mean, I thought that there might be some fun with like some of these type of like puzzle games, like match and mix and like drop down and line them up and do this. But the more I looked at it, I actually watched the video. I, uh... I guess I'm, I, should, I should mute that just because it's probably copyrighted. It probably got hit. Four-hour stream, knocked by 10 seconds of audio. I don't know. There's some literal weird stuff. So, so I like these types of games, like the matching games, like... Um, 
can't even remember. There used to be a couple of them I used to play back in the day on PS3. My friend BHU and I used to play a bunch of them. But uh, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. It, it definitely looks like a $2 game. Um, I have no idea if there's even trophies or a platinum or any of that. I did not get that far. But this is kind of what I was thinking. But I, I don't know that I will actually get into that. So I'll probably just take Friday off. Which would be kind of crazy because I hardly ever take days off and... This last week, I took a few due to an appointment and a, a mishap, or I guess a, a miscalculation on time. And, and um, yeah, so we'll see. A couple extra days, maybe. Never hurt me, though. But uh, yeah, hopefully. I, oh, snap. David, last minute sub. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy our content. UCH Christmas Edition. Hey, uh, if you want to teach Kirsten a lesson, that might be the place and time to do it. <laughs> We can talk it over, guys. But, uh, hey, you know the drill. Head on over to any of our social medias. If you have not already, please check out HappyThumbsGaming.com. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. time.